Sup, boys? Hello. Hello, everyone. Um, Rep Jensen what? died over the weekend. Yeah, Jensen. <laughs> we missed him a Jensen, lot. He, he tried. He went to go explore the sun and burnt up in its atmosphere. He will be missed. Yeah. Not not for his intelligence, but for his his go getter attitude. <laughs> Yeah, no, he's actually here. He just can't talk. His mic. Goes yeah, he's kind of, he kind of eating. He's kind of eating food. Yeah. He just said, "Yeah, no, fuck this," and left. He just left the stream running. And he was like, "Guys, just do it without me." Like, just do it without you. Thank you guys All right. for like pointing that out. All right, now you. Can hear me, but yeah. <laughs> Great. Nice. I enjoyed that a lot. All right, I'm gonna. All right. Just roll, do your intro, man. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the world of Oleanic D and D. Uh, last time, uh, the party had just began their journey inside the Kingdom of Stone, uh, ruled by King Gorid, a massive pterodactyl-esque, uh, gigantic monster that seemed to be both sentient and psychic, uh, or psionic. The party, uh is attempting to rescue a group of monster hunters that have been captured by Gord uh, and to be used as mind slaves uh, for him to steal their intelligences and then gift them away to his uh, other dinosaur subjects. Or dinoid subjects, as uh, the dinosaurs with intelligence are now called. Uh, the party engaged in some... Uh, very intense uh, stealth mechanics uh, where they were uh, running from a spotlight and attempting to avoid detection. They encountered a sleeping T-Rex, a uh, yappy, crazy, tiny goblin, which they have currently in their possession. And uh, at the end of the day, they uh, encountered a cave filled with feral raptors uh, with a clutch of eggs in the back. After defeating the raptors and routing half of them, uh, the eggs began to hatch. And one of the eggs uh, chose a member of the party to stick around with. I got Jesus raptor. You got Jesus raptor. Uh, <laughs> Named so because uh, during Casey's uh, sleep, he had a vision regarding the raptor, and a voice from uh, Lathander was echoed through the small creature. And it is now the morning of the following day, uh, roughly 8 a.m., 7 a.m., yeah, I would say 8 a.m. You guys had to travel a little bit through the night. Uh, you're in a dark cave with warm, dusty air starting to flow through the mouth. The only sounds that you hear are the drippings of the walls and the flyings of small bugs around your tiny hut. What would you like to do? All right. So let's talk. Uh, let's get a plan going. Ooh, I don't think it's to be the best time to move during the day. Or do you guys have a different idea? Hmm. Uh, I need. I need input, people. No, no. Don't, we don't. We don't got a lot of time. I know you're wanting to save your friends, so it's very important, I guess. I mean, honestly, you've kind of wasted a lot of time. We should have just gone most night, but I get it. You guys have to rest. Um, if we're, we're not going to go kill ourselves, Viv. That, way, that wastes the whole point of all this. I know. I, I know. But 
I, 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 they're very important, but so are all of you, and so am I. It's, yeah. it's, it's sweet. Saving them won't happen if we're all exhausted. I mean, here's the thing, though. It's daytime, and there's going to be very, like, a lot of flying things. So it's going to mm -hmm. be a lot easier to stop you guys, but, um... Yeah, that's, I mean, what I was, that's what I was saying. So we should just really go. At this point, we should just really go, is my opinion. Unless someone else has another idea, I don't know, but, you know... I have a big hammer, and there's a lot of tiny things that we can smush, so... <laughs> yeah, if, they're, if they're flying, I don't exactly think you can jump that high. I don't think I can throw you that high either, but we could try. Oh, don't worry about me. I, I can handle myself, but I, I'm more so worried and concerned about you guys, because I don't know how uh, well you can deal with all the creatures. I don't know how many... Do I know anything about how many, like, patrol... I don't know if I was kept in the pit, or if I was kept in the court. You were never actually kept in the pit. You were immediately brought to the court because you are an interesting person caught solo. Uh, oh. So you were kept in a small uh, stone and iron bars cage-ish thing. More like a, like a dome with a iron bars window and a massive stone door that even you couldn't lift. Uh, and you were kept there in the court uh, until you escaped. Damn. Yeah, so I'm, I, don't, I don't have any um, context, I guess, for the pit. But uh, hey, um, maybe your little friend over there who escaped yeah. has a little bit of info. Yeah, I'm going to pull Zorth out. Um, hey, Zorce, what can you tell us about us getting closer to the pit? Anything you know anything that could help us at all? Hey, Madison, I'm talking to the goblin. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, I was asked a question in real life. My bad. Oh, I got, I got you. It's okay. All right. Just heard so... you sniffling. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I was asking, well, I was being asked if I wanted to drink matcha. And I was like, oh my god, yes. So... <laughs> The tiny goblin turns to you like, eh, eh. Yeah. I've been in the pit. Yeah. Mm, yes. Okay, well, we know that. What do you do in the pit? Like, is there any guards? What do we look Ooh, for? There's guards. How many guards? Lots of guards? Little bit of guards? I don't know. There's some guards up top. And then, and then there's some guards at the bottom. Okay, okay. I, I still say we can. We should go in. Just go in. I think it'll be okay. Oh, uh, Whisper, you just rook your input. I mean, she's the one of us who's been here before, so if she thinks it's fine to go in, I think we can go in. All right. It. Yeah. Uh, it you just rook? sounds like an interesting story. Oh, All right. It'll be fantastic. You know. You just. Rook. Uh, I do not want to die. That's this my only point. I do not have to... You're, you're just as part of this group as any one of us. Do you want... What, do you have an idea? Or are you okay with this? I'm asking everyone. I don't... I, uh, I don't know much. I'm still grappling with the fact that I've got the big raptor in between my legs. Um... Yeah, you're gonna have to stuff that somewhere else. Maybe in yeah. your shirt. Or that your tiny raptor is just... He's barely waking up right now. He's like... Tell you right now, if you bring him inside, he might die. Yeah, he might. There's like Casey, an 80 uh, chance. Mm -hmm. When you look at the raptor, you instantly recognize that raptor as you had the night before. This is the exact raptor raptor that you'd heard. The, the <laughs> raptor. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Yo, buddy G, it's your dino <laughs> rappy, all right? <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the exact raptor that you'd seen in your vision. Uh, and when you look at it, you can see a white glow coming from its eyes. But nobody else has said anything about that. Um, do you all not see the white white glow from the little dude? I don't, I don't do think we? so, do DM, we? DM, we? No, do we? Right? None of us do. No, none of you do. Yeah, no. Well, it's not really, I mean... Well, I kind of had this, this dream last night where 
I helped one of the eggs hatch, and he looks exactly like the one that came out. And that's when Lathander kind of talked to me. At least it was what I think it was. Lathan Lathander? Um, yes, he's the, uh, he's the god I serve. You spoke to your god. Um, more if he spoke to me, I was kind of reeling. You know, I, I kind of... That. But, uh, Judas is furiously scribbling. <laughs> That's that's a lot to say that you spoke to your god and then apparently this baby raptor came yeah. from your dreams. I just tell it as it is. That's what happened. Um, so is it like your baby raptor or is it her yeah. baby raptor? Because it seems like it's connected to you more so. Yeah, well, there's definitely far more of a connection uh, with the raptor to uh -huh. Rook. Oh, oh, well, it's, it looks like it's, <laughs> it looks like it's imprinted on her. Like I said, if she has it now, and it's pretty much our responsibility. So, we do what we can. Um, I can put him in the basket with uh, Zorth, but I don't know how well that's going to go. I wouldn't no. put that goblin inside no. with anything. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Um, I think breakfast is coming! Uh, He's going yeah. to eat I will I'm, go I'm going to take off some of the... What I'm eating and just kind of throw it in the basket behind my head. Just kind of drop it in. I PREDICTED THE FUTURE! Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, do one of you have, like, a bag you can just kind of chill in? I, um, I have a bag. <clears throat> well, I need to stay close to Rook, so if you have one, you can just kind of, kind of empty, probably a good idea. Oh. Does Rook have a book bag? Do I, <laughs> do I have a book bag that I can just put in? Yeah, you've got, a, everyone has a backpack. Mm -hmm. I have a book bag because I'm a student and I'm cute. So, sure. I'll put him in there. <laughs> oh, yeah, you put him in a book bag, and he kind of sticks his head out one of the flaps. What if he just? He, what if he gets hungry and we're in the middle of a and stealth you'll... thing, and then he yeah, he, yeah he, he has been like snapping at your fingers in the morning. Just uh, then you'll just feed him. That was like I said. Um, we can figure the rest out then. Feed him now, and maybe he'll go back to sleep. He's a newborn; they sleep a lot. Um, alright. So if we're going today, that means Viv and Whisper, you're both taking point. Viv, you know the way around. I'll tell you what the Goblin tells me. And Whisper, just because I trust you the most to be able to get us out of this if something goes wrong. Yeah. Sounds like a plan. Alright. Um, do you guys want to invest the way the Raptors went and see if there is another way out? Or about the way we came in? Uh, I mean, either, either way, right? I don't think it matters. So, I don't know if... I said, no, you gotta say point here. Oh, you're cutting out. You guys do what? You're taking point here. Okay. I 100% understand what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, 100. I am taking point. Let's go. Don't uh, know what I'm taking. Don't know what it is. Yeah, I think I'm on the right track. Again. I'm on the right track. Because. Vivian. What? Don't go so, too fast. We're I not trying to get spotted. You guys are, are heading out in the morning, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. All right. All right. So you step out of the cave entrance, and you're immediately met with a pink, orange, and light blue sky as the sun is starting to rise over the uh, over the Hema pines uh, and over the mountains just before them. Um. You do know that you're in a uh, river ravine, uh, but the goblin, Casey, uh, does mention mm -hmm. to you. You're going to the pit. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Straight. It's a straight shot. It's a straight shot. Straight okay. shot. Uh, Zor's saying it's a straight shot. So, straight uh, shot to what? The pit. The pit. That's where we're going. Oh, okay. We're going so straight. The canyon. That one. Oh. And he, he kind of he kind of gives you a ping in your mind of a uh, small canyon outcropping that uh, branches off of this river ravine. Okay, I'll just point and that's the way he's saying we need to go. Sweet. No, we're right. walking towards. Yeah, I got like a mini map system in my head, dude. Upgrades, people. <laughs> Upgrades. Do we? <laughs> we should probably Upgrades. be stealthing. Yep. Oh, yeah. You want him with that blessing of the tricks yeah. Maybe Jesus, and, as, yes. as, as much as he desires, so that he does not disturb our journey. Who wants a sure. guidance? 
Who wants a guy? Oh, me. Yeah, yeah Casey, 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 um, Casey feels inspired <laughs> to keep going. He's also, to keep going. He's also got blessing. Let's get so, it. it <laughs> he feels it? hashtag blessed and hashtag yep. inspired. First roll the night. You're on point, so it's you. First roll the night. 20, let's go. Right. <laughs> hey, this is for you next. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> okay. Let's see that massive rogue right. stealth. Yeah. That no, massive, uh, that massive that. rogue. Dude, and you, Dude, you, you have an 11 in us. stealth. Are you kidding me? Get it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh. All right, so you're one. even for the party. Roll the roll Jesus the roll the D4 Christ. just D4. for funsies. Can I roll D4? Lesson give you advantage? Yeah, he has no. advantage. I have, Wait, you have, no. I have disadvantage. Yeah. Lesson the trick. Oh, it cancels out. Yeah, it, oh. it, it, it had disadvantage, so it just cancels out. Yeah, Ooh. that's such a bad roll. Ooh. That is rough. That is yeah. very how, rough. How stealthy am I? Uh, stealthy. <laughs> right <laughs> down, kind of, kind of down the middle. Yeah. I, think I am neither one not. More person, right? Yeah. It's me and Anton. Uh, look. <laughs> Do we name Lathander Raptor hey. Anton? Oh, yes. <laughs> His name is Anton. Oh yes. Okay. There we go. As a party. Baby Jesus. Baby Jesus. You can call him Jesus Raptor. Jesus Raptor. But there's Jesus no Raptor. Jesus in this world. Japtor. So. I guess. Japtor. Yeah. Can we call him <laughs> Jesus? Anton's fine. Anton's fine. Oh, it's just funny. Jake, can we do, just do <laughs> Jesus? Jesus. Jesus. Oh, we have dude. Jesus. We also have Judas. I'm like, Jesus oh my god! <laughs> oh. No. And no. sudden, and suddenly, suddenly it imprints, and it's Jesus and Judas. It makes sense uh, because as soon as as Rook was like, "What do I do with this?" He was like, "Kill it." <laughs> oh my god! Oh my gosh! Are we good, Madison? Do That's I need just... a roll for Lathander mm. Raptor? Nah, he's, oh, no, no, he's, in, no, he's in your pack. You count as okay, his. Cool. So. Uh, as a party, you kind of pick up the slack of the massive cow man with clunk, jangly clunk, bits clunk, all clunk, over clunk, his armor. Shh, buddy. <laughs> all right. You can you can start to hear like the clap, but the clap you're like, hey man, you're clapping. Oh my god, <laughs> the clap. The clap, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> and you kind of oh pull him God. aside and you talk to him and you're like you gotta stop clapping <laughs> but uh during which you can see through the slits of the roof of this canyon uh, you can see the occasional flying pterodactyl not paying any mind to your direction, but there are scouts, there are watchers uh, flying within the Kingdom of Stone. You do avoid them, however, as uh, your collective stealth check <clears throat> brings you through uh, unseen. And you begin to follow the path that uh, this tiny goblin, Amrak, had sent you on. <clears throat> you travel for about uh, an hour and a half uh, passing along the sunrise and uh, most of the path is just clear, dusty windy dry and you all begin to get very thirsty because you're in a desert and it's starting to get hot. Uh, oh, I'm and... going to light a candle, by the way, Madison. Sorry, I should have said that. I have another one I want to use here. I want to not just sniffed out. Take get off. Okay. <laughs> sure, absolutely. You light one of those uh, non-tracking candles so you, that you can't be tracked from behind. Okay. That works perfectly. And it kind of smells like really bad it's it's this butter pecan smell and you probably guess that the carnivorous raptors that are good at tracking probably do not like butter pecan oh my god <laughs> they prefer no. hazelnuts 
Knowledge. <laughs> it's that. It's that Michael smell. Ugh. What? What do you mean? Ugh. Ugh. What do you mean? Ugh. No. <laughs> Madison, can I? Yeah. Because Sam, can you all hear Sam crying? I'm sorry. If you I can. can. Oh. Yeah. I can hear him. Dog Samuel, you cannot have the chicken tender. <laughs> it's bad for you. It's bad for him. It's chicken. It's got breading on it. Take it off. <laughs> Take it <Yeah>. off. <laughs> Can I make a perception check to make sure nothing's watching or near? Yeah, absolutely. Because I'm worried about that since we're in the middle of daylight. This perception check will represent the perception of you throughout this hour and a half uh, little trek. I don't say that. Can I assist her? or Because I'm in the front with her? or no. Sure, you can absolutely assist her. Hey, Judas. <laughs> He's the BRB, but you feel inspired. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, that's exactly what he would say. Yeah, it is. You feel the need to continue this story. You got like the, the impossible skill check. Nothing will get past these eyes. Mm -hmm. Or a D4. Oh, oh my god. 33. Nice. That's a 33. <laughs> A 33, dear God. 33 perception. Nothing so, will get past these eyes. Oh, and this is for the entire trip there. <laughs> yeah, that's for that hour and a half long trip there. I... <laughs> Whisper opens her eyes and sees the universe. <laughs> I've seen everything. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, she, she, she got wall hacks. I'm no longer wall British. <laughs> so, <laughs> there are a few things that you notice. Oh, God. Okay. I'm ready. You notice that those those flying pterodactyls are all kind of centered around the river ravine that you uh, that you came from. Oh. Uh, you notice that in the far distance, there's this call of some distant dinoid. And yeah, and you notice that uh, as you're walking, uh, the party kind of walks past without noticing a uh, small little tiny cave opening, the size yeah. of maybe like a. Uh, large house cat oh. as they're walking through the cave <laughs> and <laughs> so whispers saw all <laughs> <laughs> um okay well as soon as she notices that she's gonna look off to the side hold on a second I'm gonna walk over to it all right. How you said size of a small, small house cat? Small, the large house cat. Large house cat. Okay. Can I cast my mage hand and make it go boop into it? Yeah, absolutely. And I'll be using my my glove to look because it has my dark vision. <laughs> Alrighty. So you use your little glove and you boop and begin to snake it through this uh, small tunnel. And this tunnel kind of opens up into a small little uh, cavern area just after the opening. Uh, that's roughly five, ten feet wide, uh, five foot at the edges and ten feet in the center. And in this little uh, area, there seems to be a tiny little, uh, a tiny little backpack and a oh. tiny little walking stick and a uh what seems to be a tiny little pouch can't really tell what's in it huh tiny will you say like yeah tiny less than 10 pounds <laughs> less than 10 pounds it's gonna pick it up all righty you pick it up and you drag it out i assume mm-hmm Cool. Yeah, sure. You pick it up, drag it out, and uh, it's this, it's a pouch that looks 
strange in design. It it looks very uh, very. Mm, we would consider it like Roman. Oh. Uh, and you kind of open it, and inside there's uh, a section with some raw fish. It's a little <laughs> stinky. <laughs> and there's a uh, there's a section with a, well, a ball of string. It looks very worn. And then there's a section with uh, some digging utensils. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there anything, if she turns the bag inside out, is there anything that has, like, maybe an embroidered name? <laughs> or? Mm, not really. Make an investigation check. Oh, boy. I wish I was better at those. Let's see. Where is you feel team? inspired. Yay, Judas. <laughs> oh, so this you is guys got that perfectly, by the way. Mm -hmm. 14. Six, six, 14. Six, six, you are rolling the best you've a, ever rolled on Guidance. <laughs> yep. With a 14 investigation, you would probably notice that uh, there's not necessarily any like compartments or anything and no embroidered names, but uh, within those... Roman style etchings across the front flap of this pouch. There seems to be very uh, feline esque markings. Mm -hmm. And that's what you get for it. This doesn't make me think of any kind of weird, like, thieves' camp, I assume. No, not really. Feline. I'll look at the party. You know anything about cat history? Uh, and it's uh, her. That's true. It's sure. they, got, they got whiskers. Oh, whiskers. Well, um, you said you well, you found like a digging kit and food, right? Yeah. I'd be someone trying to trying to get out. Is there... Is there anyone inside? <laughs> My hand back in there. So one second, I'll look. All right, so you pop back in with that hand, and in the instant mm. that you do, mm. you begin to see uh, a dark figure approaching from the cave beyond. A tiny little figure, oh. roughly the size of a halfling, maybe... Maybe a couple inches. Oh, God. <laughs> and as it approaches, you can see the outline has two large ears uh, oh. covered in dark fur. Uh, oh, my God. Seemingly striped in gray uh, with some leather gear on and adventuring gear. Oh, my God. <laughs> it doesn't see your hand. Uh, yeah. And it's almost uh, about to walk into it. I will move it. Whoop. You move it. It. Uh, you move it just above the cat, and it walks under your hand. Uh, starts to pick up its uh, uh, equipment, and uh, the pouch is still outside. And you emptied all the all, all the things, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of like. <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh my god. I'm gonna pull that mage. And it like double takes and goes like. Ow! Oh my god. It's a key. Ow! You robbed the cat. Robbed the cat. No, this person is not dumb. She loves cats. I'm gonna take the mage hand and give it a little like pat on the head. You pat it on the head and it jumps up like a cat that's been scared by a cucumber. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, don't hiss! You scared him! And it <laughs> dashes it dashes down the cavern. Ooh, move out of the way. <laughs> All okay. right. Ooh boy. Did it dash out or back in? Back in. It dashed into the cavern. Oh, oh, deep into the yeah. Okay, okay. Could I I'm could not... I have minor illusioned a wall in front of it? 
No. In front of the cave? You, in you front of where You don't it was... see anything. You don't see anything. Oh, Whisper's okay. The so this, isn't, this, isn't, this. this isn't like in the cavern where we're at. It's like... Mm -mm. No, I'm looking in. No. Okay. It's a tiny little cave entrance the size of like a large house cat. Oh. Oh, boy. Okay. So what she's going to do is... <laughs> I feel like this is just his stuff or her. I don't feel like it's really got much importance to us. Because <laughs> it's just digging gear and yarn and what else? Uh, some fish. Raw fish. Oh. oh, I took his lunch. I'm going to put it all back in. All right. You use your mage hand and replant the evidence. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> all right. There's a cat in there. Like with whiskers? Yeah. And ears? Yeah. And like a tail? Yeah. What, what was it doing? doing? I don't know. It was walking. Hmm. I kind of scared it though. Oh. What are we gonna do about it now? Yeah, I mean, the longer we stand out here, though, the the, the 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 greater the threat. So unless you're going to jump into that cave to say hello to the kitty, I don't think it's. Gonna uh, be I don't right think. Now. I don't think we're fitting in there, in any of this. I mean, Sammy could. I don't uh, think he wants to go in there. Cat, cats, cats, and snakes. <laughs> yep. Just by the way, if you, in case you didn't know, I yeah. think that's how it works. Sammy, do you want to go in there? Uh, he but looks at Sammy. I, cats do not... I don't think they eat snakes. I mean, they might not be friends. I don't think a cat can snake. Are you a cat expert? Are you? you? <laughs> no, I, might, I might be. Well, I, thought you, I thought you were a rabbit expert. Is That's it true. The ears? I... It might be the ears <laughs> a little bit. Okay. I assumed. Yeah. Well, you kind of you, you own a rabbit, so it makes sense that you kind of know what you're doing with rabbits. Yeah, Hemi. Hammy's a special. He's, yes. a, he's a special boy. We don't talk about Wait, him. what does this rabbit discourse have anything to do with cats? Well, yeah. I, don't, I, I don't know. So, <laughs> like we said, if we're making, uh, we should move forward Let so me... we can get our friends. I yeah, promise. Viv, we're in a tunnel and you're in the front. If you want to move, you have to keep walking. I, I mean, yeah, I'll happily keep walking. <laughs> While we're walking, mm. she's gonna real sly. Just as because it's 120 feet, she's gonna send him a message. That cat, because she's seen him, so she can do it. Okay. Just, just <laughs> as they're walking away. Sorry for scaring you with the hand. Uh, put your stuff back. <laughs> That's it. And uh, message actually allows you to respond. Mm -hmm. uh, so you hear a. Oh my god! What is that? Oh no! <laughs> this voice is in my head. Oh. <laughs> and uh, that's all you hear. If we're still in 120 feet, it's a cantrip. This is just as we're walking. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm be like, no, it's not a voice in your head. It's a magic spell. Um, if you're trying to escape from this place and you're stuck, let me know. We'll come back and get you on the way out. Not magic, magic spell, adventures. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm okay. Alright. Okay. He's Sorry. fine. <laughs> He's rude. Yeah, she's just gonna look at everybody. He's fine. A kitty? Yeah, he's fine. Tell him I say hello. As we're walking, my party members say hello, and we all hope you're doing well. He doesn't actually reach him at this point as he's moved down <laughs> further into the cavern. Oh, I miss him already. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess we're keeping forward with my 33 perception. <laughs> Alrighty, alright. I see everything. So, like I said, the rogues sees all. <laughs> that I do. That armor. <laughs> As you've been moving, uh, the, the sky's been getting more clear. The air's been getting hotter. And you've been getting more thirsty. The goblin uh, inside of Casey's pack says, Just up ahead, there's a corner, and there's the water. Thirsty, right? I'm thirsty. There's a, 
Doris is saying there is uh, water just around the corner up here. So let's be careful. Normally, if it's this hot, other, other things are over there drinking. They all have canteens, so we could be good. They may be best to try and get some free, some free if we can. Everyone cool? Like, metaphorically speaking? It's really hot. <laughs> Yeah, I was what about to say. What do you with the, with, I mean, what, what if it's like poison? It's the natural predators. Well, and it's not you, meant well, for people like us to drink if, it. You do what every scientist does. You simply watch if something drinks from it, then it's probably okay. What if it's only exclusive to some species? That's very rare. And if most things are drinking it, then it's not really going to be exclusive. It's simple. I can also make it clear and we can do some stuff with it. Also, he's okay. insane. Why are we listening to him? Because he, he tries to survive. He at least knows what's going on. Unless you want to take a point and try to figure some stuff out. No. It's kind of our best butt. Okay. So, let's keep going. Alright. But I feel like I'm melting. Ugh. You know, if we get if we get too thirsty, I can always create water, literally. Out and out. I think I have a water pack. Hold on. Do I have a water pack? <laughs> yeah. It's like, like a basic Everybody thing, right? comes with the Yeah, you, 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 get, you, get, you get like the Explorer's pack. You get, every, you get that kind of stuff with it. Oh, yeah, I'll whoop that shit out. And I'm gonna fucking drink that shit. <laughs> yeah, I'll drink my canteen too. We're, we're just going, we're going to get water. It out, but I, within this one and a half hours of walking, it is hot enough that you drink through each of your canteens. But <gasps> it services you for uh, this half day, probably. Nice. Oh. Here's Sammy have some water. Alrighty. I'll, I'll, give Zor, I'll, um, I'll give Zor some amount of medicine. Well, he's not dying. You mean Amrak? Uh, Amrak, sorry. I don't know why I call him Zor. I've called him Zor like seven times. I don't know why. But Who's Zor? I don't know. I just I was like, oh, I've been calling him Zor. Amrak. <laughs> so. I guess that's his name now. Yeah. He's responded to it three times, so I was like, okay, that's his name. <laughs> That's why I've been like hesitant to to. Yeah, sorry. I, th you, I thought someone said Zorth. I forgot what his name was. So I was like, okay. That's, all right, that's perfectly fine. Don't you worry about it. I need. Suddenly, the goblin turns southern and starts responding like, "Don't you worry about it." <laughs> Don't you worry about it, darling. <laughs> oh my God. Don't you worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, so. As you continue on, you reach around that corner that uh, that Amrick had mentioned. He's like, water, water just up ahead. Refill. Prepare for further. Quiet. Water attracts others. And we'll, we'll be using your uh, stealth from previously. Uh, However, this uh, these stealths will not be a group stealth because it is a specific encounter. <clears throat> Casey. Uh, Casey, I can't help it. It's a one. I have nothing to do. No, that was. You mean it's zero, Casey? Yeah. <laughs> so, here's what happens. Oh God. I actually need to. Forgot to make one of the tokens. Give me just a second. For I, should have, I should have said for that Blau. the paladin was a rogue. <laughs> <laughs> Next time. He's a rogue now. Upload. Kerpow. Hey, Madison, can I, um, while we're walking, could I mm. just, as like a, a funsies, Use one of my bardic inspirations to roll on this 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 story table, Tales from Beyond. Just you know, to listen to a story, to get one in, yeah, in the head. Yeah, absolutely. Nice, sweet. Oh my. Oh yes. Oh thank goodness. Ah, uh, I'll tell you what that means later. Okay. <laughs> nice. You don't get to know what it means, but nice. <laughs> nice. Later. Oh, there's actually one of these in the compendium. Oh my goodness. It's a Tarask. Yes, yeah, oh, gonna be a giraffe. No. <laughs> Two of them, in fact, a couple. Maybe even three. Before they're having a quarrel, so they're extra angry right now. Tarask has been cheated. <laughs> I love her squirrel. I see. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, there's not many Tarasks, so it's like really man. 
<laughs> Our options are already limited, so and yet, <laughs> yet here you have the audacity to look at that raptor that way. Right. In front of me. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> I need one of these. I need one of these. Yo, hey. Yeah. Oh wait, no, no, mind. That wouldn't work. Get into that an encounter. <sighs> so, as you turn that corner into the section of canyon that Amarek was talking about, uh, you encounter a stone wall. At the top left corner of the stone wall, there is a pile of rocks that have been. Uh, that have fallen from the canyon ceiling onto the boulders making this wall. And through these rocks runs a small little waterfall that kind of babbles as you hear it. It runs between the rocks and further across the other side of the wall. Uh, and there's a small opening in the wall uh, between the canyon and the rock wall itself on the right side. Uh, Emmerich kind of allow he kind of kind of gestures in that direction in your mind, Casey. Mm -hmm. And Casey, you take point and walk through the front. And as you're making your way first through that uh, section of rocks, uh, something catches your eye. Uh, a snake embedded within the boulder itself uh, glares at you and you instinctively jump back uh, clanging your armor on the side of the canyon wall and you can hear just across the wall of the cave massive shifting massive bodies and that's where we're going to start i'm going to bring you guys into the uh into the mini map give me just a second i've got one more token to pull up two more tokens actually but here you guys are ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, yeah. right there Ooh. if you had placed yourselves uh along this track right here where do you where do you want me at man since i was in front just ping yeah you'll, you'll be in the front you'll be either here or here or somewhere in this uh, front three. I'll be right... I'll be here in the middle, because that's, like, that's fair. Sure, absolutely. Alrighty. I need... you behind me or do you want to be beside me? Which one do you want? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> 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 yep. I'm going to hide behind the wall. Thank you. The wall of a woman. Please, thanks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Please, thanks. Hi, what's that? I'm safe behind giant barbarian lady? Yes, yes I am. Of course. Oh, why, of course. I Listen. The, I had the other, the other new token to oh, sorry. What? Ooh, where did you, you did? make this <gasps> you map, did? Madison? I, I, did. Huh? I made this map in Incarnate. This is I a made map. This is, I think this is the first made map you guys have encountered. <gasps> yes. Right? Ew. Yeah, Ooh. this is awesome. Oh, hell yeah. You did Look great. You. Look yeah. at you go. This is, uh, this is self made. I'm so proud of you. Uh, All I'm the maps you'll be word. encountering today will be self made maps. Ooh. Did you give me heart? I appreciate that. I did. I did give you heart. Thank you. Because thank you. icon wait beautiful. The, wait till the ears come out. <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? It's like, I don't those need... Are those T Rexes, Madison? Those, those are like not T-Rexes. Okay, they cool. are not as large as the creatures you'd seen, and their arms are cool. particularly a little I was, long. I, I was nervous for a second. Okay. I feel like that one's called like a Diplosaurus. D-I-P-A. Diplosaurus? Something like that. I don't know. What? I played Jurassic Park, the, the, the fucking <laughs> world, the thing where you run a park. Oh my god, they did that too. Oh my god. No, these, I, are I, actually, <laughs> uh, these are actually Allosauruses. Yeah. Allosauruses. Oh. Allosauruses are not fun. Yeah, as you round the corner, uh, Casey, you see a massive scarred torn with one horn chipped at the end, Triceratops, uh, that seems to be painted blue in blue stripes, and uh, his front plate has this beautiful array of 
skull patterns in that blue paint. Uh, the Paracerellophus just behind him perks up after you smash yourself into the wall. Uh, both raptors at the Oasis currently drinking stand straight up, and the Allosaurs in the back also notice you. And I'm going to bring in initiative uh, oh. as we get straight into combat. Ooh, ooh. Okay, all right. We be. Oh my oh, god. Oh, two Nat 20s. Good job, guys. Damn. All okay. right, you ready for this Nat one? <laughs> nice. Wait, I can't click myself because I have the pin out because I'm stupid. You're not stupid. Yee. You're Oleanic Dungeons yeah. and Dragons. Vivian, <laughs> please. There's you the are map. literally supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, low one. Come on, Vivian. It was the above twenty. Come on. I I know. <laughs> My I, bad know. I, I got a three. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. So that's not good. Yikers, no, dude. Well, these guys aren't rolling well either. <laughs> All right, Raptors oh. get theirs. I need some combat music in here, dude. Yeah, you boy. Only, you, only, you only get one combat music soundtrack. And that's that's brought to you today by Darkest Dungeon. Verasa hey. <laughs> <laughs> Art? Yeah, Verasa Bar Art at Twitter. Thank you so much for letting us use this soundtrack on our thing, which is still pretty cool. I can't get over the fact that it was the co-owner of Red Hook Entertainment that was like, yeah, yeah. I can't, yeah. And he responded to everything. It was rad. Yeah, it was cool. I, they were like, yeah, go for it. I was like, oh my god. Bless. Poggers. Bless. Okay. Combat. I kind of like Makes me want to play Darkest Dungeon. 13. And then. Bum, bum, ba da bum. Bum, bum, ba da bum. Need one more. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. This brings me back, bro. Can I kill more dinosaurs? Brings me back. Brings me back, dude. Brings me back. Brings me back. It's getting. <sighs> is it a, is it... This guy needs a turn. Have you had bad memories. Yeah. You had memories. I remember the first time we got this all the way back in the Mycenid cave. Yeah. Fifteen plus two is a seventeen. We've had a few character changes since then. <laughs> a few. Yeah, oh, you think? <laughs> Right. I'm from green that to pink. So, these guys, these I guys. went to draw to human. I went from black to black. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys rolled really well in initiative. Yeah, I did. Can, you know? Can I skirt right here? <sighs> 13. 13. 13. Give me just a second as I make sure they all have the correct mm -hmm. armor classes and whatnot. Alrighty. Okay. Top of the round, it is Rook's turn. Ayo, it's the girl coming at you. Can I come you right here? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. In this little spot crevice right here. I'll pull sure. Gambit. Like, does that does that quantify as thirty feet? Uh, that does quantify as thirty feet. Okay. So uh, they quantify? will have from this angle, they're gonna have half cover. She has sharpshooter. I have sharpshooter. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> and since Gambit, um, I can shoot it twice, and then I have to reload. I'm gonna shoot them twice. Okay. Here I go. <laughs> sure. Go for it, girl. Thank God. Okay, do any of those hit? And 14 and an 18 both hit. Dude. Nice. Sick. Nice. You shoot them? Ooh. 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 Chef kiss. Wait, you have piercing, right? Yeah, I was gonna re-roll that. Both ones? The both ones. And the D4. Is down. it once per round you can reroll something, or is I'm it, it. Like once per attack? I got it right here. Um, once per turn. 
once per turn. So one of those ones you reroll into a two, that turns it into 23 damage. Ooh! Yeah, you definitely... How, describe how your gambit shoots. Ooh! <laughs> so I pull out gambit, little dinky little duct tape gun. Um, I take a round from my pack and I crack it and I blow on it and I open a repeating rifle and I smack it in there and I shake it and I point and I shoot. <laughs> It's like a little zap gun that she has. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Absolutely. So yeah, after you... With a small burst from Gambit, uh, it strikes the side of the Triceratops as he's kind of caught without, uh, without turning to you. Uh, immediately embeds into his shoulder and you can hear that... I'm gonna go... And you can actually hear... In your mind, you can actually hear... Uh, Go here. Engage. <laughs> I wince. I cringe. I'm like, ah, I don't like being right there. <laughs> That'll be my turn. Judas, you're up. Judas. Well, uh, Sorry. hmm. Judas. You know what? Why not? I get them back on a, a short, short rest. He's. You hear the like a story recount in your head. Um, except this is sort of sped up, you know, but in your head it makes sense. There was a spirit, a dark one of profound death, that dismembered a mage. And he gives it to Whisper. You are now invisible until the end of your next turn, or until oh. it hits a creature with an, an attack. If it does, if you hit a creature with that invisibility, it takes necrotic damage equal to one roll of my bardic inspiration die and is frightened of you until the end of its next turn. <laughs> nice. Thank you. And I'll use my bonus action to convert another bardic inspiration. And he, you see it glow as he's reminded of another. T I'm rolling really well on the bardic inspiration <laughs> thing. Heck yeah, <laughs> dude. Nice. Alrighty. And is that your turn? Yeah. Moving anywhere or anything? No, I'm I'm pretty solid where I am. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Whisper, you're up. You are currently invisible. <laughs> Just as soon as she went invisible, you know. She's sort of like Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's Judah smiles over in the direction that <laughs> the invisibility just happened. <laughs> nice. So I'm going to first. Um, let me make sure that this is a bonus action. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to cast divine favor first. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Is that a bonus action? Yes. One bonus action. Lovely. So now I have necrotic as well as extra radiant and sneak attack if I manage to get it. Mm -hmm. I get sneak attack because I'm invisible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Um, Anytime you have advantage, you will be gaining sneak attack. 20, 25. 25 absolutely hits. No, 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 no. That was my movement. <laughs> oh, oh, my bad, my bad. You're fine, you're fine. 30. Okay. okay I just wanted to make sure. Um, okay, so I'm going to take a shot with my bow. At... With that expanding long bow. Mm hmm. Which one of them looks the meanest? Definitely with a Triceratops. I'm gonna take a shot at him. Alrighty. Boop. Make it an uh, advantage oh. of a 26 to hit. <laughs> I'm gonna assume that hits. <laughs> yeah, that definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. So 10 this is the plus. Ball. Uh, what do I get for your Bardic Inspiration? You get a D8. So 10 plus 5. So 15. Oh. Plus... Aw, oh, that kinda sucks. That's so, okay. Eighteen. That's okay. What else do I get? A D four. Four. Yeah. Your divine favor. Another three. Oh so. my god. Twenty-one. Sorry. Twenty-one Six, damage. Five. Twenty-one damage. Ooh. And it Dang. is frightened of her. It is frightened of her until it's it next is turn. Frightened. Okay. Absolutely. Dead. 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 Just for flavor, you look like an extremely dark and evil spirit to it. 
because that's what I am. <laughs> that Blighton is so clutch, too. You don't even know, man. No, yeah, it's a Triceratops. It's going to charge. Yep. Good luck, buddy. He can't move closer to you. And that's exactly. the entire thing. <laughs> yep, and he can't come closer to my team because then he's moving towards me. <laughs> yep. All right. We, so, we high five and support. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just after you smash a, a long arrow into the side of this Triceratops and it lets out this. And you can hear in your mind a. a magics. Quick. Call for help. The Parasaurolophus, uh, just next to the Triceratops, uh, begins to walk in the opposite direction and starts a call. Uh, this call uh, is actually going to be a mechanic for three rounds. Uh, after the next round, if he survives until next round, I'm going to just let you guys know all this information. Mm -hmm. If he survives until next round during this call, it will uh, alert the uh, the presence of intruders. If he survives until the round after that, it will alert uh, the location. And if he survives after that round, uh, it will alert the makeup of your party. Okay. All right. So he begins his call. And he walks. He was here, so that's... 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. As far as he can away from your group. Just for clarification's sake, it's like an actual sound, right? Like it's Yes, it's an actual sound. It's like... <laughs> it is an actual call, like a trumpet or a horn. Okay. And it seems to be made up of uh, almost like code or language. He's screaming right. more code. So. Basically. <laughs> oh my god. Ah! 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 <laughs> 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 All right. It is the raptor's turns, as they're going to take their actions to. They've got that 50 movement feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. 5, 10, uh, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 50. Uh, he actually gets to here. As they are starting to climb on top of the rocks, you guys do not have vision on them. And it is now the Triceratops turn. As he is currently frightened and cannot move closer uh, to you all. <laughs> Let's check. What is the longest distance he can move and still attack you next turn? About there. All right. Dang. So he can't do a whole lot. And then he's going to move 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, he's going to move about there. Just make sure he can... One more there. And in your mind... Past and he can't move towards her at all. He has to move as far he, as he did, he didn't. He started yeah. here. He can move here. Oh. So you can actually hear in your minds a... Focus. The rogue. <laughs> and that's going to be his... Uh, that's just going to be his turn. We can all hear this voice, right? Yes, you can all hear that voice. The lips of the creature are not moving, but you can hear the voice coming from that direction. Though it's in your mind. It's odd. It's like you're hearing something that's not there. Mm. Just in retaliation, she's even like, yeah, good luck. Vivian, you're up. Hello. Um, Hello. Oh, how hard it would have been. Can I just climb that? Uh, that's about like a 20 foot rock. Uh, can you jump the 20 foot? You can jump the 16, then I'm gonna, if you're gonna attempt to jump to the top, I'll make you make an athletics check to see if you can grab on to the top of it and lift yourself up. Would that be an action and everything, or? It would be an action. Okay, what if I went like here, and then I tried to jump from like that? Would it's it the same height. 
Uh, there did seem to be a group of rocks on the far side down below uh, that you could easily run up. Do I jump higher when I'm raging? I don't think you jump higher. Because I know I have more distance, or I have, yeah, I cover more distance, but I didn't know, but that adds on to the jump or not. Nah. Um, well, that, that is tricky, isn't it? Huh. 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 What you doing, girl? I don't know, because my plan for that isn't, isn't quite the plan I want. Oh, I, I guess I, I, I'll bonus action uh, rage uh, first off, and then I'll mm -hmm. jump up there and I'll use my, uh, I'll, I'll, sure, I'll use my uh, action to try to climb up there. Alrighty, Oop, Roo. So I don't forget that I raged. Bum. Okay. Bum. Uh, make an athletics check for me. It's, uh, I believe, uh, it has a bonus or with advantage because you're raging. I think it's with advantage, right? It is. It's still, it's still up to 27. 27. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Uh, oh, so the rest three. of you watch as Vivian just one, two, three, and jumps up to almost the top of this uh, boulder. Massive 20, 25 foot boulder. <laughs> Grapples onto the side of it and just <laughs> climbs right up. No problem. That fun. Now we have um I can't do anything. So I'll just I'll just uh, can I move? I can move a little. Yeah, I can move. Yeah, you can certainly move. You have I believe that counted for 20 feet of your movement. Okay, so I was right here, so 30, mm. 45. 25. I'm sorry. Difficult terrain for the last 5. Okay. I'll, I'll just I'll just you know what? I'll just stay right here. Beautiful. I'm right here and just waggle All my right. hammer at them. Sure, sure, sure. Casey, you're up. Okay. So I'm going to... Okay, let's see. Where can I get it like a... I'm going to move 5, 10, 15, and then I... Can I see... I can see him from here, right? Easy? Mm -hmm. Want the one in the back? Okay. Yes. So I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt at the one in the back. All right. At what level? First. Oh, it didn't do anything. Hold on, I have to, I have to roll the, the hit thing. Oopsie, do I not have it? Uh, so... It's just, it's it's my tip, uh, d20 plus 8, so that's why I'm, yes. I'm gonna roll that. I don't have it, I probably don't have it set up. My bad. That's fine. Go for it. That is a 21. 21 certainly hits. Go ahead and roll okay. the 8. 46, and then the next stack has advantage. Uh, I mean, 15 points of damage. Roll oh. really crap. What? 15? Oh. Wow. Yeah, 15 plus 8. Why plus 8? Wait, oh, oh, hold on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. The plus 8 shouldn't be there. I rolled it in the same thing. So mm. it's just, it's actually just 7. That's actually really shit. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Well, the advantage is going to help with whoever shoots it next. Yeah. That's r it's rook too, so. Alright, that's your action and your. Oh, uh, yeah, okay, so I moved 5, 10, 15, 20. I think I'm gonna hold off right there so they can't just charge a whisper without coming to me. And then, yeah, that's gonna be my uh, my turn. That's all I can do. Alrighty. It is now the Allosaurus turns. As they're kind of stuck a little bit further away than they want to be and they were told to go after the rogue so they're actually both going to dash their way there so this one gets about here all right let me make sure oh they have a speed of 60 feet Allosaurus oh. have a speed of 60 feet okay this is bad well, that allows them to reach either you or Rook, so they can't hit the rogue this time. Yeah, they're gonna... One's gonna rush here. Ah. This one's gonna have to dash, so he's gonna go for the rogue. Um, you guiding bolted the Paracerelephus, so mm -hmm. he's actually going to attack you here. Uh, mm, he sees that you have a gun, so he's probably gonna get in... Does he know what a gun is? 
question. No, no, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't. <laughs> that's a, that's a yeah. Good point. He has no idea what a gun is. No, oh, you did just shoot with a weapon. I just smacked the collar. Then again, me. they also said go for the rogue. They did. Don't also. encourage that. <laughs> so you one of them put a made a. a uh, one of them is going to make a gore attack. Uh, excuse, excuse me, a trampling charge gore attack. Oh, that's bad. Uh, okay. Yes. Straight toward the creature, and then it hits with a gore attack. So it's going to make a gore attack against you, Casey. Okay, go for it. That is a that, 16 to hit. That misses. I have 19 AC. Right. Whew, baby. Sure, sure, sure. All right, then that's going to be both of their turns. Rook. You're up top of the round. Okay. <laughs> okay. I can't move fast enough. If no, it, I can't. We have to, we have to try them. and get the one. The, we have to I want to line the them back. up and then do a piercing shot so that I can get both of these, but I can't. Yeah, we have to get the one in the back. You can get one. both of these. I can shoot this guy all the way over here if I get checked me now, and then they'll just know where we are because it's yeah, that's, fucking that's loud. Fair. That's fair. You're right. Well, the location that you guys are uh, currently at is being uh, is being broadcasted right now, anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna check it out. I'll drop. I'll sadly drop the ambit for a bonus act. No, a free action to drop it, okay. and then bonus It will be. Can. It will be finished ne by the end of next turn. If you don't kill him, then your location will be announced by the end of next turn. Okay, so checkmate time! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I can get checkmate out this turn. Okay, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah this one. Okay, you can drop um, Gambit as a free action, then pick up uh, checkmate as a bonus action. Okay, and then I'll shoot it. <laughs> Once, with checkmate. You, you have advantage on the first attack. Okay. Will this be a sharpshooter shot? No, I have to call that before I roll. I just rolled. So, but fortunately, that's just a 15. <laughs> really would like that 20, but this is a 15. That's 15 okay, ahead? that's okay. A 15 on the Paris Relifist? Mm -hmm. This motherfucker yes, will be back here. Yes, it does. You yes, practiced saying that name. You really did. 11. 11. Paris I, I don't know what you're talking about. Paris Relifist, Patchy Cephalosaurus. I don't know what you're talking about. You practiced those names. <laughs> Actually, um, can I take- I'm gonna use my action surge. Nice. Oh, so I'll oh, shoot there you go. Because I reload once, nice. so I have- I will need to reload at the beginning of my turn next time. Mm -hmm. So I'll shoot checkmate again. Nice. Oh, checkmate's at a reload of one. Yeah, mm -hmm. she has two attacks. I have two level, returns. Level six fighter. So it means that I get three turns this round, which means I shoot, reload, shoot. And she'll have you have two next. attacks. You have two attacks in a round. Two attacks in a action, and mm -hmm. you use one of those attacks to reload. Then you do action surge, shoot again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I and see, you can I also see, see, you can also reload with that action surge because that's an entire yeah, you, action. You attack again, so now it's reloaded for next round. I thought it was like three actions. I just no, 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 no. That's mm -hmm. that's haste. Yeah, yeah. You're good. You get the extra two actions. So that was your daily action surge. Okay, cool. Sick. <laughs> yeah, you can just shoot checkmate twice. Twenty As damage is good. Twenty-eight, is, is especially to a good. creature that's like not crazy beefy, but is used for communication. All right. So, uh, the rest of you watch as uh, Rook mounts <laughs> up. How do you want to kill? How, like you just yes, yes. Dude. Yes. So good. yes. I love you so much. <laughs> it has Thank 23 you. HP. Okay. Nice. <laughs> okay, so I I drop Gambit on the floor. Um in the, in this in Matrix slow speed. I, I mount up checkmate. I freaking lay on the ground, Call of Duty style, set up checkmate with a stand. <laughs> I sit, I exhale, I look at my sight, and I freaking I shoot through a face and it She's has literally this shooting a cannon. Pain. Please tell me if I'm taking career, creative liberties, but and then I I rear it, I like cock it again with the like the the, the you know like the little lever thingy and a, 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 just it's it's smoking and I, and I exhale again and I and it's in a matrix speed again I shoot again through his chest and it just fucking dies. 
Yeah, absolutely. And I love your Californian kind of ignorance of of gun stuff, of gun <laughs> no, parts. I, you know I that lever thingy? Gun. That lever thingy. I have a BB gun. That's all I know. Look, look. Like, <laughs> she literally no, no just no sat it. Guys. Come on. Yeah. If you guys have ever seen or even know of the reference of uh, High School of the Dead, she literally is exactly. a school girl that just oh. sat this cannon what, onto the ground. Dead has been brought up twice with Rook. <laughs> the first time was because I don't have any titty. Ooh. Ooh. You said it on screen, guys. Ooh. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. Streamer <laughs> fails. Streamer <laughs> fails. Where are you at? But yeah, school girl literally just shot a giant cannon. <laughs> Yeah, I swear yeah. one of these days I will get more educated on guns. <laughs> Today is not this day. Night. Okay, that was my turn. <laughs> Absolutely. And yeah, that first shot, boom, stuns it, and that second shot goes straight through the chest, and you can see the body of the Paracerellophus fold in at that in at that impact point, and it just crumples like a like a sack of meat. Yeah. Judas, you're up. <laughs> the calling from the Paris Paracerellophus has ended, and it is now okay. only the violent creatures uh, harassing you left. And you said that this one, this big boy over here is pretty... Uh, he's pretty hurt. But he's also pretty tough looking. He is pretty tough looking, yeah. Mm. Mm. He looks the Should toughest I do out of all of them. Should I do something slightly risky? That would teach actually. Your, teach your character, buddy. Play every. All right. Okay. All right. Ari All right. did for the save. Ari has one. That I gotta get. Oh no! Don't bring that up. Don't, don't, don't bring that okay. up. <laughs> so. All right. I'm just getting my bearings for how uh, close I need to get to be able to get to this point here. Okay. So. Judas takes a few, like, sort of jogging steps forward, but you see him flash with a free misty step. Kinda next to this, this, this big boy over there. But, you also hear in your heads, Yet this same spirit is one of joy and mischief, confusing her prey. And you see this creature slightly makes something. I'm choosing this thing with my s super freaking good roll on my bard, but he must make a wisdom saving throw against me or be charmed and attack this one that's next to Whisper. Oh my goodness. With its action. That is a 14. A 14 does not save. He must attack big boy right wow. here. That's using his action, so on his turn, that's, using, that's yeah. what he'll do. Now, is he... How long does the fear last? The fear lasts for one turn. One turn, so by the Otherwise, end of it would be kind of OP. <laughs> I think when it comes back to his turn, it's gone. Mm -hmm. Yep, all right. Yep. Whisper. Um, or unless you're doing oh, anything on. else with your bonus action and all that. I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, the last 20 feet of my movement to sort of circle around <laughs> to or to there, just so I don't get impaled by <laughs> this thing. Ne I'm, I'm getting next to Casey. <laughs> I got you, homie. <laughs> this thing is only seeing. Not now. It's not a dark spirit that it's seeing on Whisper. <laughs> it's seeing a very. Nice, very nice looking, you know, very attractive looking spirit. It's not even like attracted to humans, but you know what? It will simp for you. <laughs> <laughs> Another one to the list. <laughs> just a halo over her head. He's like, oh, he's not so bad. <laughs> but then this one, this Jeez. guy, this guy, he looks evil. He looks like he's about to ruin everything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's going to take your girl. <laughs> so. The Paris Relifus. Uh, it's sorry, it's Whisper's turn. It's Whisper's turn, my bad. It's a me. It's a me. Who is Whisper? It's a me. <laughs> <laughs> like, huh. Well, you look nice, huh? Um, okay, okay. So, this this one. Shit, mm. wrong thing. Which one? It, right in front of you. He's charmed. <laughs> no, he's I thought the no, Triceratops. No, 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 no. The, the Triceratops is the big the boy. The in front of you is very yeah. hungry and very dangerous. Oh, mm -hmm. my friend. Okay, that's not a good 
Uh, no, okay. no, but you can bonus action disengage. You don't have to do it as an action. Oh, you're right. <laughs> bonus action Rogues. disengage. I'm gonna Rogues. bonus action disengage, and then I'm mm -hmm. gonna... Uh, 5, 10, 15... Uh, 15... Yeah, we'll stay there. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna take a shot at him. Sure, you get a uh, sneak attack because Casey's on him. Mm -hmm. Got him, dude. I'm on there him. There you go, Casey. <laughs> Hang on, is this still... Let me check something. Concentration up to a minute, and I haven't been hit. Okay, so I still have Divine Favor. Okay. Cool. Where's my bow? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Natural one, however, does not hit. It's okay. Sorry. No, it's fine. Alrighty. Uh, that's all I'll do. Okay. It is now the raptor's turns. Uh, let's see. They were told to go after the rogue. They know they can get around you. Yeah. So they're going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and jump down the rock. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. On your turn, you'll just walk down there and smash them. Yeah. It's okay. Wait, hold on. You can jump from a high height and get more yep. damage, right? Oh my yes, gosh, they, dude, that's can. perfect for you. And they're both going to make attacks on Whisper, uh, both with advantage because they have peck tick ticks. Fucking peck tick ticks. All right, so that is rolling, rolling. Oh, hey, Madison. Ye. Is it too late? To, is it too late to say I could tail from beyond with my bonus action or no? Oh, it's a faster turn. Yeah, it is. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. It'd be fine. It's okay. That's just a learning thing. So that's going to be a bite attack for... 17 to hit. Ah, oh, that's my armor class. <laughs> Oofers, yeah. So that is yeah. 1d8 plus 3. Not too bad. It's 4 damage. <laughs> Okay. The other one's actually going to make a pounce attack as it leaps off of the uh, rock. Don't do that. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Don't do that. So it makes a claw attack, and then if it hits, then it gets to make a bite attack as a bonus action. Hmm. Alright, so that is claw attack at advantage. Roll, roll, roll. Wow, that's bad. Uh, that is only a nine. Nope. Yeah, so that is their turn. Finish. Uh, the Triceratops <laughs> um, is yes. charmed and has been told to attack this bad boy over here. Charmed uh, so... by Judas. 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 Judas, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Judas. Judas. You're protecting me. <laughs> Thank God for Judas. Against a creature other than itself that you mentally choose. Wow. Uh, so it is going to move... Yeah, it can yes. reach. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's yes. going to make a trampling charge uh, against, yes. against this Allosaurus here. That... Oh. So he makes a gore attack. Oh. It natural ones on the gore attack. Oh. So it does not hit. So he doesn't uh, get advantage with the whole gore thing? No, he doesn't get advantage. He doesn't have pack tactics or anything. Damn it! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Sorry, big guy. That's really unlucky. Uh, That's two nat one rolls in a row from two people. That's just unluckers, man. Not only that, but I rolled a four, a three, and a one on the rolls mm. before that. These guys are not rolling well. To be fair, so, you just yeah. ran around, Viv. You said bah. Yeah, man. I, this bro, they bah. were told to do one thing. That's what they're going to do. No, it's fine. It's just karma. It's just kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, but now it's Vivian's turn. Uh, where did the party go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... They looked at you, they're like, I don't want to fucking deal with that. Fucking clown. Fucking clown. Okay, so here's the tea, Chief. Um, I was looking through my sheet, and it says, When I am raging, I can leap mm -hmm. half as high as the movement dash as a bonus action while raging. So that's word by word what you told me. So does that mean oh. I bonus action jump up at least 30 feet? Uh, Damn. Wait, I, as half let high me, let as me half your movement dash as a bonus that. action while raging. 
Because then that I means... want to make sure. <laughs> she, yeah. She's yeah. literally a rabbit. Yeah. As high as half of the movement dash. Uh huh. Of the bonus the action while raging. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. And you said this was like around 20 feet high? <laughs> uh, so, yes. So I'm going to jump 50 feet up into the air. Oh my god. I, we're going to go above these things. There. I'm going to think. Okay, so. Okay, hold on, hold on. The, hold on. The only thing that I'm contesting right now is the uh, half of the movement dash as a bonus action. Keep I'm in not mind, sure exactly what that I'm means. never going to get this kind of like height ever again. Like this height <laughs> is because she's because she's of the on a 20 foot rock. Well, this you're is only like, on a 20 foot rock. If you get to yeah. like a 50 foot rock, then you could jump 100 feet. So 50 foot jump as a bonus action is a little crazy. I uh, I think Wait, hold on, hold on. I thought it was just something. half her movement. I thought it was just half yeah. the movement. Yeah. Then it would just, just stay 30. Movement. It wouldn't it wouldn't it wouldn't increase to 50 if she was on a 50 foot rock. Yeah. It would just So be 30 normally feet. your jump height is the 15. Oh. Uh so now this increases your jump height as a bonus action you can increase that jump height uh, up to half of the movement speed of your dash, which is uh, uh 30. Yeah, it's 30. Which is 30. Okay, so a total of 50 <laughs> feet in the air. Yeah. It's not Yeah, a total. It's not it's not her jumping I 50 feet. It's no, 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 no,
Uh, that counts as your action and bonus action. Okay, but. So, okay, okay, so, so okay, 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 okay. So it count it's as not an action. attack action. It is an action to do that. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So I'll just a little bit of movement. I'm just gonna step over here, <laughs> and I'll just <laughs> as she's bouncing on her heels very excitedly. It's your turn next. Just you wait. You can never miss out on the surprise. <laughs> I'm gonna give her a thumbs up. Yeah! <laughs> mm, that was all? wonderful. <laughs> That's all. Casey, <laughs> you're up. Okay. I'm going to bonus action as Shield of Faith. Uh, on myself. Alrighty. Up to that. And then I'm gonna attack this one right here twice. Okie dokie. So that's going to be an 18 and a 12, a 12 does not hit. Not hit. Okay, well, that's nine points of damage. Nine points of damage to the Allosaur assaulting you. Absolutely. Okay, so he is chunked down for that HP. And your new AC is 21, correct? Mm. Yep. Whoo! Damn! All right. It is now the Allosaurus' turns, uh, as one of them sees that you have charmed their Triceratops, so he's going to attack you, Judas. Okay. The caster, the squishy little caster. Yeah, uh, my 13 AC, let's go. Square up. Square up. Uh, that is a... Square up. 15 to hit. You hit that square up, come on. <laughs> and he's going to do 2d10 plus four. Oh, excuse me, what? <laughs> yeah, 2d10? They're, 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 they're big okay. boys. Okay, all right. So all he right. does, Square it's not, it's, he rolled pretty bad, so that's only 12 damage. Not bad. He rolled, he rolled, uh... You take yeah. 12 points of piercing damage. Okay, so he slaps me with his tail. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually a big old bite. Oh, oh that hurts. And takes a nice chunk out of you. All right, and the other one's going to oh uh, make a uh, make a Constitution saving throw. Wait off. Or is this effect that you have on the Triceratops? Uh, how long does it last? It's just one just, turn. Just one round. Oh, just one turn. Then it's not concentration or anything, is it? No, no, no it's not concentration. Cool, cool, cool. All right, and the second one is going to attempt to make an attack against you, Casey. Already. That is oh, a wait, hold on. one. Yeah, no. yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. So <laughs> it, yeah, no, it, it, uh, it grabs straight onto your armor, and you're like, there's something about your armor that's literally reflecting its teeth. If you've ever had a, well, I guess you're not old enough for a glass of wine, but if any viewers have ever had a glass of wine, there's that effect of light in small you, drop it you help me with that medicine there's this effect of little beads of golden light bouncing up and down across the armor of uh casey and they're creating this impervious layer the teeth just cannot get through rook you're up Alrighty. <laughs> Top of the round. Okay, I need to. Uh, uh, should I? I drop checkmate because my my Glock's on the floor. <laughs> my Glock. <laughs> Can I pick up my gambit and then just pop a cap in his ass? This one is right in front of me. Okay, so you. I so need to reload drop... first <laughs> because gambit yeah, yeah, yeah. needs to reload every two, and then I can shoot once. Yeah, you drop, uh, or do you stow? If you can stow, I... then that's a bonus action. Okay, I'll put away checkmate then. Okay, then you can, uh, pick up Gambit as a free action, and then reload it with one of your attack actions, and attack with another attack action. Sick. So you get one attack this turn. Um... It's 26. Oh, yeah, a 26 so hits. Which one are you shooting? Alrighty. Um... That's 11. 11 oh, wait, damage have, per Wait, I'm gonna reload all that one because I got here. Sure. 12. It's the 12 damage just for one attack. 
Love it, dude. Sick. All right, that's my turn. <laughs> which one? Which one? Which one? This one right here. Oh, to the raptor. Yeah. So that was with disadvantage. Then it is 25. a. 25. Oh yeah. Wait, no, I'll take a step back over here and take the opportunity attack. Oh, well, I mean, you're gonna wait, kill wait, it. Wait, anyway. you're, but you're gonna kill that. it anyway, Mia. Yeah, okay. You you hit it. You hit it. Don't worry. Yeah, <laughs> you definitely do. As you're. As you stow away your massive sniper rifle across your back, you reach down, grab the pistol, reload it really quick, and then... And the raptor's body, already injured with one crooked limp leg, is just... Lit up. It has a new set of holes, and uh, it succumbs to those new set of holes. It falls to the ground. <laughs> I wave at Vivian across a dead body. Thumbs up. <laughs> That'll be my turn. Judas, you're up. Uh, so I'm gonna hope for one and only one, because only one of these stories can get me away while doing something useful. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to disengage. That was it. That that was oh, that was the story. <laughs> I'm not joking. You're lucky with these, dude. I am. I really am. Uh, this... It... Hello? Hello, hello. Okay. Alright, so... You see Judas... His earrings glow. In its pranks and fun, this spirit could not be found. It alone was gone. And Whisper, or no, no, not, not no. you, Whisper, Vi, Vi. Oh. You see your teammates glow, but you see pathways that can be taken. But you yourself, you are teleported here. Oh. <laughs> and creatures that you choose can take oh, the do same Do you get reaction. to choose the point she teleports, or does she get to choose the point she teleports? Oh wait, no. Yeah, she chooses. Okay, so you you you, you, you get to see choose around you. Mm. Yeah, you see around you, the field lights up, and you see different pathways that everyone can go. You choose. Uh, hold on. The target the target can immediately use its reaction. You can choose a place that you can go, but you can also choose, because my charisma is twenty, five other creatures to teleport. <laughs> Five other creatures teleport, like switch them around. Within thirty feet, yes. Oh, fuck. yeah. So you basically, each of you, if you choose all of your party members, each of you can teleport thirty feet. This was the reaction. one that I was hoping for because oh, this fuck. could allow me to go away if you. So I, I should move people choose. as well and move myself. Yeah. Okay. Well, okay. yeah. You move yourself. Everyone can use their reaction right now to teleport thirty feet in any direction. Oh. Okay. Well, yeah. I'll go over here, right in the middle. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then, you now um, have the plot armor. <laughs> yeah, you guys can go wherever you want. Thirty feet. Oh, so, is it, how long? How long is the state? Like just the one. It's round? just. It's just, just the, one the one round. round. You can just use your reaction to do whatever teleport you want. Oh, God, it's so good. It's so and, good. I know. Judas will whisk away up here, sitting crisscross applesauce, watching the story unfold. You know what? I would like to do that too. <laughs> I will zap myself up here <laughs> and just be like, hi! Can I, can I teleport myself onto something? Can I, I jump on it? You could teleport It's a point within 30 it. feet. Okay. <laughs> I want to ride it. Let me get on it. <laughs> sure, you teleport on top of the dinosaur. That was the one, that was literally the one story I was hoping for, and I can't believe. And I still got to keep with the haiku format because I'm trying to streamline these stories, all right? And it was so great. Well, I want to move. Oh. Anywhere you want. Oh. Um, Anywhere you if want. I even, if I should even move at all. Up to you, big man. You've yeah. got a massive AC right now, so you are yeah. the tonk. Yeah, I think I'm gonna just I'm gonna stay put and try and help Vile. I was gonna teleport on him too. I was gonna wait. Once my turns up and nothing happens, I may just be up there with you. We're gonna ride this man. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> I just wanna fucking ride a dinosaur. Uh. Let's go. Madison, you don't understand how lucky that was. Because either way, I was going to have to like just disengage and hope for the best. Oh. Oh. That was such a good turn. All right. Very good. 
Bloop, bloop. So you ain't got an action, brother. Take him out. Fireball, this is okay. <laughs> we'll that was my action. All right, you guys <laughs> are good. It. Yeah. Whisper, you're up. Yee. Now I'm happy and on a rock. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> um, which one of the he's which one of these is hurt? Um, this one's I, hurt. I, 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 hit, I, hit, hurt. I, hit, I hit this one. And he's hurt. This one's this pretty. One's cool. My friend. This one's clean. Yeah. Uh, it's my pet now. <laughs> don't you? Don't kill you, him. You don't want me to hurt him. Okay. Roll animal. <laughs> you, can, you can if you want. I'll just jump onto another. I'm gonna take a shot at him because he seems like he's given commands, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna take a shot at him. Sure. How okay. big is he? Uh, he's pretty big. Oh fuck Ooh. yeah. Um. Okay, and I still have my what you call it. My radiant. He's a 17? large creature, right? He's a huge beast. Boop. Oh my God! Oh, Jesus Christ! This is this is oh. a this is a mountain. <laughs> Now this is all yes. yeah. You saying this thing was charmed by Judas? <laughs> yeah, boy. Look at it. Look at it. It's so cute. He's big, big fella. He's a he's, big he's my fella. Now. Yeah. Does a seventeen hit her friend Madison? <laughs> uh, seventeen does. Okay, cool. So I've got. She's still divine favor as well, right? Yep, and sneak attack, I assume. Yes. Nice. Okay. Oh. That's you, still, you, you still got sneak attack and Devon favor, it's okay. Uh, so six. And... Oh. Alright. Uh... <laughs> you're doing fine. You're, you're doing fine. 120. Damage. <laughs> oh, bang! Yeah, no kidding. As you... You expand that... that The expanded longbow just... <laughs> goes straight through the... The arms of one of the allosaurs and... Digs right into... Where the shoulder meets the uh, meets the torso of the of the triceratops, it digs right into the muscle. It is an injuring hit. Uh, as she shoots, all she's gonna say is, "I don't like you telling people to come and attack me, buddy." <laughs> all right, and that's your turn. Mm-hmm. Okay, don't. The raptors are dead. Whew. And it is now the Triceratops' turn. Oh no! Oh no! He's got oh, a man. crazy lady <laughs> oh, on no. top of him. <laughs> oh, could she be sitting right here in that little spot right between his horns, holding onto that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. She just she just to... teleported right on the forehead. <laughs> I'm gonna make him use a. Oh, what's it gonna yeah, how's, be? How's for he gonna him attack to me, huh? To get you off. <laughs> uh, Oh man! I hope you realize she's cackling like fucking crazy on there. I would she say... has no clue what happened, but she's on there. I would say he's going to actually move. He's gonna ignore you. Nice. You're on top of him, oh. and he can't really get you off. So he's gonna Yay. ignore you and push forward, pushing the allosaurs out of the way. And then he's going to use his action. I'm going to take that as his bonus action because he's physically moving other creatures. Please so let, please let it miss so that Casey can lock horns with the Triceratops. <laughs> and he's going to please. attempt to use a uh, stomp attack. That is a 24. Uh, I'm going to use my reaction to boop. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. That was his gore attack. It's the same attack. To, it's the same to hit attack. Uh, and you're gonna use your what? My uh, reaction, like a shield spell, I can teleport still, so I'm just gonna go to here so he just misses. Okay. I'm not uh, there anymore. I'll have to move again. Uh, still can't hit me. You but chose not to use your reaction it's, it, it's earlier. The, it's, it's, the whole, it's the whole round, right? Until it comes back to use his turn. That's how it's Immediately use its ah, reaction. immediately. Okay, cool. Sorry, I thought it was yeah. the whole turn. Go for it. Dang, okay, that so would have been that would have been kind of baller. <laughs> so be kind of baller. It would also be OP to just negate five attacks. Yeah, I just thought it was just like just like move away. Wait, five. Oh, it's like one of those. So the first one, the first one There's hits. All five the stop attack. All five of us the gore does not hit. All so right. what you know, the, the gore was just so that I can use the attack. The attack was uh, that twenty-four. I just clicked the wrong button. Yeah, yeah, the twenty-four hits. Alrighty. So it's going to do pretty piercing damage to you. All right. Hey, <laughs> that's going to be 15 Constitution DC, right? 
Yes. Uh, Constitution. 13, so I lose my two AC. Shield of Faith is down. Uh, Vivian, you're up. Oh my god, I'm Mads, uh, Mads, I have a quick question. Which attack is yeah. he has to move 20 feet to, to use it? Is it the Gore one? Uh, or the Gore, it... he doesn't have to use uh, okay, cool. 20 feet. He could just, just use it. Okay, yeah. I just wanted to ask. I wanted to make sure. That's, I was like, you're... He gets extra. He can use the Gore and the Stomp if he uses okay. 20 feet of movement. Okay. Gotcha. He should have backed up and then gone for the Gore. That would have been nice. But no, yeah. I wasn't smart enough to think of that. Rolled, the question is, would it be rolled. smart enough? Yeah, he's, he's a smart dinosaur, so probably. Oh. He can talk. Yeah. <laughs> he is quite intelligent. Vivian, you're up. Hey, all. Well, previously, she was waving at everyone on the hill, or the mountain, happily. And then she saw Casey get fucking real fucking hurt. So she's gonna go, I! That's not nice! Don't do that to the big guy! And I'm gonna fucking double attack if I need to, but I don't think I'm yeah. gonna take him out with just one. So we'll, we'll see. see. Oh, a reckless attack as well! Haha! -ha! Alright! So with the I'm so glad you remembered. Hit. 20 hits, roll some damage. 14! Oh, yes. 14. He's still up. Okay, bitch. The 24! <laughs> a 24, 24 hit. also hits. An 18. <laughs> 18. Was it 18? 32 points of damage. And I'm gonna smash it right in the middle of its fucking little. How do you, how do you want to do it? Oh, no, that she's... just meets the required damage. Oh, she's she's not very happy that she went for her for her big guy friend over here. So she's gonna hop up on his forehead and go no 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 no, and then she's gonna just reel it back and slam it straight down into the middle of his beak, Ooh. For, like twice and like completely mash it apart. In, yeah, probably. I mean, if the beak is hard enough, it probably get pushed back further into the skull, right? And just collapse the whole little thing. Oh. Yep. And as it falls, she's just gonna ride it down, and she's gonna be like, <laughs> Fred Flintstone <laughs> style. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. <laughs> she's like, woo, woo, woo! I got you. <laughs> and I think, I think that's all I can do. Um, actually, I'm gonna have a little mo. I have a little movement, so I'm gonna, ba 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 ba. Are any of these guys hurt? These big boys? The one at the top is hurt right here. Can I jump onto that one? Uh, you can use... Uh, yeah, yeah, I would say, certainly. Sweet. I'll jump onto this one's back or head. <laughs> no, make an athletics check to grab onto this creature. Okay. Oh my gosh. With advantage, because you're raging. raging. Hell yeah. All right. Natural 20, you just got it by the Natural, by the 20. Natural 20. <laughs> Come on, we've been rolling pretty well. Oh my gosh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Natural 20! Yo, you know, yes! I, I, I forgot to tell you, I went Divination Wizard as Casey. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you realize, she bounces and she twirls in the air. Cause she, she, she never just jumps. She jumps and flips and jumps and spins. And happily yeah. lands onto him. Absolutely, She's absolutely. literally bouncing everywhere. And I'm just gonna yeah. lead up to his little dinosaur here and be like, You're next! Are you excited? <laughs> <laughs> Casey, you're up. All right. You just see Roll Casey like, have like a dent in his side armor now. And he's kind of giving you a smile and thumbs up. And he's turning and he's going to yeah. this one. Yeah! <laughs> All right. Let's see. Uh, so that's going to be, I'm gonna attack twice. Then 18 hits and a 21 hits. Nice. It's going to be nice. a 13 points of damage, and then a 6, so 19 points of damage. Very nice. 19 points of damage. Ouchers. That hurts. That, yeah, that does hurt. That smites, but I'm... T nope. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I he still slides no, I said, I said, but um, I j it's mainly because you're a paladin, and, you know, smite <laughs> is another word sorry, for, sorry. like, hurting, you know, old, right. old language, <laughs> you know, that kind of stuff. Oh my god. <laughs> it is it is the Allosaur's turns, as this Allosaur is going to attempt to make a bonus action to throw you off of him, so make a <laughs> strength saving throw, and it's going to be contested by his strength as well. Do I have advantage, or does this not work with it? You have advantage. Okay, strength saving throw. 18! You have 18? Yeah, you just, you're, you're gra gra <laughs> grappling him, you're, you're, you're a like, monster. <laughs> You know those things? In a five foot the, frame. The bulls that you ride, the mechanical bulls? Yeah, <laughs> it's that scene. It's that exact scene as she's cackling and holding on. It's like with one armed two with a giant hammer, yeah! you know? 
Five, Come here, big boy. Ten. You're not leaving oh, yeah. me. You're still on him. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, oh, yeah. He watches, he can't get you off of him, so he goes to make an attack against Casey. Alright. That will not hit, I assume, with a 11 to hit. No. Alright, and the other one's gonna make an attack against you as well. Nope. That is a 21 to hit. Yeah, 21 hits. Alright, that's going to be doing 2d10 plus... So that is really bad and blech, gross. <laughs> that is only 11 points of piercing damage. You say bad, that's still a sixth of my health, Madison. <laughs> <laughs> like, you're like, still a sixth of my health. Yeah, but it's less than Same, half of what bro. damage can do. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Rook, you're up. Rook? Mia? Are you muted? Mia? Mia? Hi! Hold on! I'm trying to do five minutes of what my mom. <laughs> my mom <laughs> me. Well, mom, um, come here. I'm, um, I'm gonna pop a cap in this glass. I have <laughs> yeah. to shoot it and then reload. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna shoot it. Okay. Pop. Does an 11. <laughs> an 11 does not hit. That is too bad. I I, sh I fire and I miss, and I gotta reload. All right, that's my turn. No. Oh. <laughs> oh. Judas, you're up. Well, I mean, I don't have a lot of these left. So we're gonna have to wait like an hour. <laughs> but like, <laughs> let's see. Oh, <laughs> Casey, you're gonna like this one. Okay. Cool. I like all of them, please. Be I, yeah, I know. I, I can't, I can't like format this one really well because it's off the cuff, but there was a paladin, one of Lathander's light, a champion of heroes who saved us all with his might. And you see, Casey, Lathander's light cover you. You get a roll of my bardic inspiration die plus six, and you have temporary hit points. Your walking speed, speed increases by 10 feet as well. So, so roll your Bardic Inspiration. So you get four, so, so you get 10, 10 temp hit points. Cool. 10 temporary hit points is really nice. Whisper, you also, you're have, up. I, you also have 10 feet yeah. of movement. <laughs> wait, wait, give an extra movement? That's not. If he tries to run away, I'll tackle him, don't worry. I got yeah. this. Yeah, there we go. Um, okay, taking another shot at poor Vivian's joyride. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> My pet! I killed the first one, and I moved on to the second one. No. Uh, 16. 16 hits. Nice. Oh. Alright, so, 10 plus. <laughs> okay, 11. Oh. Plus. Still good. 5. 16. 16 nice. damage. Yeah, it hurts it. Uh, it's still looking pretty healthy, but you did some damage. That's all for me. Dan, six, you get back. I found a bunch of gummies, and I'm so happy. <laughs> yeah, there you I'm go. I'm so happy for you. Me too. I am happy for me too. <laughs> it's what you deserve. Right? <laughs> Even though I missed last turn, I'm still having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, glad. I'm down here like dented and bloody like man it's great being up on this rock <laughs> <laughs> you right. got Triceratops this and you have temporary points dead, so Vivian you're up what are you hey. doing to this poor creature under you oh I'm doing a lot to it <laughs> um, oh. clip it Hello. first I, I gotta wave at my friends again <laughs> and then I'm gonna Judas waves um, back yay! yeah wave <laughs> Thank yeah, you. We're all finally, waiting. we're all waiting. Back. Back. <laughs> yeah. and, I'll, and then I'll be like, oh, it's time for the show! And then I'll just bang. Well, is it too late? I don't know if it went out. It's a 25, it don't matter. It's, it's a 25. Oh, you can oh, still. You can still. Oh, only 10. <laughs> is it still up? No, you can still Yeah, it's still up. It's still up. Oh, Madison, can she still call Reckless Attack before the second one if she chooses to? It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, she can call Reckless okay. Attack before the second one. Okay, cool. No matter. Okay. It's still hard. 20, 25. And that is another 15. It is holding on to dear life. 
by one HP. Oh, you're oh, a strong oh, boy, aren't you? Can I, can I bonus action bite its ear? Oh, God. Uh, uh, bonus action bite its ear. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll tell you what. Uh, go for it. Make a d20 roll plus your strength. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Well, the natural 20 gonna bite its head off. Plus my strength 15? Does a 15 hit? 15 hits. <laughs> my oh god! <laughs> I'm gonna bite it like on this little- I don't know what that little thing is, right? But I think that's a horn. Actually. I'll just bite its so like, you, cheek. You, you bite its cheek as like you- BONK BONK! <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> a rabid dog. Tearing at its flesh, its dazed state, it, it kind of brings it off balance and it falls and Cracks its already broken skull on the rocks below it, and uh, <laughs> goes. You're a rabid dog. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, this is a like rabid rabbit. <laughs> I, I learned that from you. <laughs> I'm just gonna. You say that with a bloody mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait! I have movement, right? Or... Yes, you have movement. You have movement. <laughs> <laughs> Can I jump onto it? <laughs> uh, no, you've already used your action and your bonus action, so I'm not gonna allow you to jump onto another creature. That's true. Um, I'll just, I'll just excitedly You're jump on my heels. <laughs> 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 the party. Casey, you're up. <laughs> I'm getting the hammer down. I'll see you. Bring the hammer down. Oh. Ooh, 17 and a 25, both of those hit. Hammer time. Uh, it's only 12 now. And there we go. 23 damage. No, 23 damage, yeah. Oh, that hit it hard as you crack, crack the pearl head of the Nautilade across this creature's skull. And it is cracked and injured and bleeding from, uh, from both its jaw and from other parts on its uh, neck and body. Uh, but it is still up, and it is the Allosaurus' turn right now. It, as in its desperation, it lashes out uh, against Vi, uh, who jumped right in front of it. Uh, that is only a time to hit. <laughs> I assume that does not hit. No, it doesn't. Oh, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't hit. Rook, okay, you did, did, you, did you roll with advantage because you did reckless attack? Oh, that's correct! Sorry, Michelle. That, no, that's no, no, no. That's I, a I can... 17 hit. I mean... Uh, oh. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> this this <laughs> whole this whole time... Away, as it, as it the main... like <laughs> And attempts to, to bring its jaw down on Vi, but she just... Hop, 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 bob and weave! Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. right out of the way. <laughs> bob and weave. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Canceled. Rook, finish it off for us. I will pop a cap in his ass. I can do this twice, but I'll see. Yeah, you got two shots. An 11 hey. doesn't hit, and a 21 hey. certainly does. As you hey. brrr, brrr. Can With I still use my piercer? Well, I don't want to. I'm gonna reroll a d4. That's the same sure. one. Never mind. <laughs> it's the same. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So, with that, uh. It finishes off this creature with a, a, a burst of uh, of bullets rain down on the creature, and it just peppers its body. And that final bullet seems to strike something vital as it kind of rears back, eyes wide, lumbers for a second, and then... And now there is not a single enemy left in the field. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty baller. Broke Fortnite dances. No, I'm just kidding. The combat is uh, out of turn order. Judas and waves uh, over at the people down down below. Are Bible. are you okay? I'm pretty good. I don't know about the big guy. He got real fucking hurt. Oh wait, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I forgot. Uh, no, oh, uh, oh, I'll be okay. Just give me a little bit. You Don't do see. know that the uh, the presence of intruders has been alerted by the Paris relevance. But didn't didn't he die before it got to his turn? So yeah, it didn't go off. I think he died. And he still got noise off. So something has been gone through. It might not be that like. I guess. 
he didn't get to the end of his turn. We got him real quick. But there were multiple shots from Checkmate. Yeah! Oh, oh true. The schoolgirl did true. fire a cannon. Yeah. <laughs> it's up to you guys whether or not you want to move, but uh, yeah, this we, combat we, quiet. We need, to, we need to get out of here. Yeah. Zoom. Yeah. Zoom. Wait, it's like need... snake, and it's like we got the alert. We got the exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> you guys don't need help getting down from there? I, uh, I might. I would like yeah. to help. Okay, hold on! Can I just jump up there? Am I good? Mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Uh, oh, you're you go what the heck? Because you guys are the latest, so come here. Uh, I think go over. I will happily yeah. go along with this. I'll pick you know, up the It whisper. is 20 just... feet tall, so... Whisper, just act. Oh, I've got you. Just come down this way. If you fall off, okay, I'll get you. Okay. Alright, I'll just, I'll pick up, I'll pick up Judas and Rook then. Hey. Ah. And you're like, come on! So oh, you who's going to be taking? Big boy. Who's going to be taking the D6 of damage? I'll take it. I'm still raging. All right. Yeah. So, bloop, bloop. Oh wait, or did we go that way? That way you then. Jump. Yeah, way. you jump straight down and <laughs> crack onto those legs with the weight of more people. Uh, you take one D6 per person, halved, of course. So that is, how many people did you bring down? Three? Two? Two. two. So, so that is 2d6 halved. That is <laughs> three uh, damage. Three damage? That was... Oh. Yeah, I, I rolled it. I rolled it. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay. Sweet. I got you, girl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he, oh, yeah. You, you, you're taking these two people <laughs> as you jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that was cool. I told this. It's always fun to jump. I mean, it hurts a little when you're carrying a lot of people, but it's not too bad. Oh, so we need to keep we need to keep moving. It's all yeah. Keep going in the way we were. Okay. You guys in front. Wait, wait. And I'm gonna run to the water thing and refill my little water thing and clean my up too. We run to do that. Just a quick fill. Fill and quick fill. Yep. Yep. Can I can I wrap Lathander Raptor's ears in like a Van Gogh style? Because <laughs> this is gonna Van be Gogh loud. style. Yeah, you know when he chopped uh, off his ear and he has that head wrap. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can certainly do that. <laughs> so that you know, because they shoot a lot of loud guns. <laughs> That's true. Sweet. I just I just yeah, remember you the make water. You cozy, and uh, you give him some water while you're here, and you all refill your canteens. Uh, and some of you, uh, whisper with your passive Yo. perception. Uh, my passive you... perception is 17? Yeah. Yeah, with your passive perception and in this opening of the canyon, you can see from the spire off in the distance, it seems to be a flock of creatures that are moving in your direction. Okay. Oh yeah, we, we need to get quite a ways now. away. They're quite a ways away, probably about a thousand feet. Still, yeah. Maybe probably more like two thousand feet. Yeah, two or three thousand feet away, but you can still see them. Yeah, we've got company on the way. We might want to get out of here. Where are they could we um, could we find a place to like sit for a minute? I just need to reset my shoulder. Uh -huh. Oh, come here. I'm gonna go over to Casey. Let's. I just need some rest. We used to, we use the short rest first, and then we heal if we do. <laughs> but what sure. if they get here? <laughs> Well, they won't get Same. here if we go right now. <laughs> we need to, we need to go. Let's 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 go. let us go 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 let that way, because we're right. ending at like, uh, for me, it's we're gonna be. Like, we're ending two. in two and a half hours. Two and a half hours and yeah. 14 minutes. Yeah. All right. And that was a nice little two hour stretch. And then we're gonna leave in two hours. So it's about yeah. halfway through right now. We'll break up. Hope time. you guys have been enjoying the stream. Uh, we've got a lot more to come. Yeah. 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 We'll be back I like, I like, at, the, uh... I like the, how the heroic story of our party is just everyone, no one takes damage but Casey. It's <laughs> Dude, the only, the only, the only damage Vi has taken was from herself. 
I, I know. Chris <laughs> <laughs> can't say I'm not in the front. I was literally riding dinosaurs. Just saying. Dude, no, dude. You, you, are, are, you are doing you so much. Do all of you are doing <laughs> crazy. Uh, Judas awesome be giving right everyone now. plot armor. <laughs> I'm, I'm just trying to like... break, 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 break. Fifteen minutes. Or break, 30? break, 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 break. Uh, 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 let's do 15. a thirty-minute. I, I, I need to make some food. Okay, we need to actually do live stuff. So okay, okay. thirty-minute 30 break. Minutes. Then. So let's go, let's when go. the clock says seventeen, when the clock says seventeen, everybody come back. Okay. Okay. Bye. 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 Bye.
sure it will come around Don't get too far up and just come down Get what you give and take what you need No need to take sides, just fill in between Find your place in serenity
We show the cool kids how to be the youth of today. We jump the fence and play in the misty broken school. Hit cop holy stand we hide behind the school. We spend hours throwing stones into the sea. They were the best they saw my life I from the sea. Oh, I could be a saint while you would be the sinner. My mother used to pound when I'd invite you home for dinner. of letters and they didn't fit in the trash oh my darling how i miss you to the day i'd give my everything to see your face again oh my friend Your parents had your bags and moved away. Your father got a job in the Empire State. Oh, how I wish you stood your ground to stay behind. I've loved and I've loved, but you made me feel alive. I guess you've got a job, a life, and a family. But I promise my heart will always have a place for thee. Oh, I could be a saint whilst you would be the sinner. My mother used to pound when I'd invite you home for dinner. of letters and they didn't fit in the trash oh my darling how i miss you to the day i'd give my everything to see your face again oh my friend
Hello, hey guys. Whoa. Hey, yo. I have laffy taffy cherry flavored. Ew. I hate cherry. I hate cherry. Why you gotta say it? Why, why you gotta be that with cherry? That was banana mind. too. Fuck banana. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Laffy taffy <laughs> banana flavor is the best. Listen, listen. That's hey, a little hey, Mia, controversial. Mia, I I don't like banana that much either. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna stand with you on this one. Thank That's you. Not that thank great. you. Thank you. Okay. Sometimes, it's, thank God, a voice of reason. But here's the thing. I like the yellow Starburst. So apparently, that's heresy all around. Yeah. Oh, Which oh, one? I love yellow Starburst. Dude, they're so I good. Everyone does that. People don't like them, so they always leave them. So I'm like, hey, hey, hey it's taken. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the limit. Let's go. Well, I'll get yeah. a short rest first, then the smash. All right. Please. So, we just find the cave. After, after escaping that canyon, someone make an. Either a survival or an investigation check to find yep. some kind of cover. Rook, you guys want my rook, minus rook, one investigation? Rook, I have, rook, I have rook, a rook, 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 rook. investigation. Do it. Whichever, whichever one. I think uh, Rook or Whisper needs to make the roll, I think, because they're, the, they're the ones that would be the best at it. Wow. And you really don't want that minus one. Listen. Ace is going to play what? If you can play Rock, Paper, Scissors with you, we respect you. Do yours then. Okay, cool. Survival yeah. or investigation? Is that survival what Survival or investigation. I have Everyone's survival. High. Fuck! Never mind. <laughs> it's okay. I rolled a six. A it six. happens like that sometimes. So, this canyon seems to just stretch on and on and on. And it feels bare. There's no water. There's no caves. The goblin seems to have given you uh, good instruction in refilling your canteens at the last oasis because there doesn't seem to be any uh, any other point of rest here. You cannot find a place to short rest safely. That's like, that's it? We just can't? Yeah. Well, guys... You can short rest in the middle of the canyon if you want. Mm. But it's basically clear other than maybe one or two boulders on the you, sides of the uh on the sides do you of the remember path. my uh tiny sort of dome the one that mm -hmm. uh that i can choose the color outside oh. i can control the no. atmosphere inside it hmm. or oh the, the Impenetrable one, right? Is that the yes, the impenet impenetrable one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Means so you odd. can't smash it. <laughs> yeah, I, I figured that's one out real quick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but I mean, if you guys need to, to rest, I think that would be the best because I don't think it's. The spirits aren't anymore. talking to me as much anymore. All I'm right. Tired. They seem tired. Yeah, well, it's like a hundred billion degrees outside, and the sun is real hot. And I can and make it like a nice end. 70 degrees. That would work, right? <laughs> yeah, what do we waiting for? Do it, do it. Um, <laughs> I'm feeling more of like a comfortable, like, 60, but you know, I'm... whatever. We can oh, do cold. 65. All right. <laughs> Talking about the AC. <laughs> <And> <laughs> he Listen, he like, concentrates. Real, real, real life talk, absolutely. I will die on a hill at 65 all the time. Yes. Oh, yeah. 100%. <laughs> Me too. So, 10 minutes, Lehman's tiny hut. It comes into existence around us. And the outside of it, we're next to a boulder. He will have done this next to a boulder. So we make it the same color as the boulder. And so it's just like an same color as the boulder, but it does. It's it oddly looks smooth, yeah. Like a yeah, it's an oddly smooth, dark gray and brown orb, basically next to a boulder. If someone's like walking along the path and they're looking for you, then they might notice this weird orb. They won't know you're inside, but they will <laughs> see like, something's what the hell? off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they might they might try to investigate it. 
But well, they can't get in until the eight hours is over. <laughs> it's <laughs> we just want one hour. <laughs> All right. So, do you guys take your short rest inside this Liaman's tiny hut along the canyon? Yes. We got it. We got a short rest. Like I, I can, I can heal, but I rather just in case, in case I need healing, I rather keep it. Not unlimited. All right. All right. So, short rest. you take your short rest within the Liaman's tiny hut, and each of you regains hit points up to your uh, maximum hit, uh, up to your hit dice maximum. Uh, go ahead and roll for those. I did not lose any hit points. I'm not rolling. Yeah, I did. Uh, Jensen, do you have Song of Rest, or is that going to cost you a yes. spell? Yes. So... Does not cost a spell slot. He, uh... He'll start telling you a story. He sort of... <laughs> probably... Would start it telling it to the first person that asks him, but otherwise he probably wouldn't. Does anyone ask him for a story while we're just sitting in here? I would. Yeah. 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 Yep. If, if he's, if he's All right. just sitting there. So the way it would go is he'd probably tell the story to whisper, but as everyone listens in, it'd probably be more of a speaking tone because he's not, he doesn't like people listening to this story, but at the same time, he can't just stop. He's got whisper and all them there so <laughs> he tells you a story about a party that instigated a war <laughs> and killed several diplomats within that day that makes me feel relaxed that definitely makes me feel relaxed. Not, that is a very nice song i'm filled with determination thumbs up that's a good no, party yeah just ignore them I like it. It's my a very body. cool party. And he looks at both Casey and Whisper. <laughs> yeah, I think that would be a fun party. Imagine, right, a party where all that happens. Imagine how much loot you can get off these people. Wait, did you say party where... Who does the killing? Who did the killing? A killing of... They... Oh, there was a war. Oh, oh, I see. I think I now understand the reference, if there is one. <laughs> oh, no. They sort of <laughs> instigated a, an entire war. In the cover of night, they infiltrated another country and stole I something precious. <laughs> mm, you know, I like that oh, story. No. You must have done something wild. Wow. Oh, there. Sounds like it would have a heroic... Ending, maybe. Probably. Probably. They were almost I'm, I'm, caught. I'm sure those people are somewhere better than a desert now. Things are worse. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, sure they're not much better place. I'm sure they're, they're on off. to greater things. Am I missing something? I don't understand. <laughs> I'm kind of weird. I don't understand either. Yes. As as the party is gathered around Judas's story, <laughs> it's about maybe 20, 30 minutes into this long rest, uh, short rest. Um, you see out of the corner of your eye, one of the pterodactyls uh, that is flying through the air. As it's flying across the canyon above you, it cocks its head a little bit and then begins to circle. Back around, slowly lowering and lowering and lowering. I believe we've got a winged friend who's found our position. All right. Should they take a <laughs> By the way, with this uh, Lehman's <laughs> tiny oh, hut, we can I... be in the shade. It's not even like sunny on us. We are just sort of <laughs> 65 degree shade. Uh, I can I don't grab think... him if he gets close enough. <laughs> I can just hit them from right here. Your thing make loud sound, yeah, and I don't yeah. know what Hold, hold like on. That. We are impenetrable right now. This oh, thing oh, only sees my, my a big bubble. My only concern is, dude, is if they have 20, 20 T-Rexes coming just standing way outside the bubble. We yeah. will be impenetrable after that. Oh, come on. Just let me try to grab him. Come on. Just let me try to grab him. I think it's best if we try and get away right now. 
But okay, so let's imagine we did that, right? We go out, and then what if he starts like, ah, and then it's like, ah, and then more come, and it's like, ah. Oh, he's you know, gonna oh, he's in the air, Madison. Uh, he's currently about two hundred feet, and now he's one hundred and eighty so, feet, and now what he's is one hundred and sixty feet? He's sending his probably gonna say something before. You got, you can only go forty feet. Can I? Yeah. If we make an attempt to run away, it's something that I think might feet. help. Okay. Wait, what is that? Flex, I can fun? totally hit him. I think he's just gonna find us and he's just gonna try and kill us and he's uh, that's probably in experiments. But we gotta make a decision to get closer. We should probably just go. One hundred feet. The suspense, I think he's just gonna I think he's just gonna oh, kill us. If you wanted to run, we can run. 80. But I mean it's either take him out now or take him out later. Yeah, just, just, take, just to try and take him out. Alright, we gotta do something. You're right. Let's just take 60. him out. Okay. Uh, what, what, what? Can I, can He's I... 50 feet from the orb currently, at the top of the canyon. Okay. <clears throat> I can only jump... Slowly making his way down the canyon now. Now 40. 30. I have to wait. Wait, you threw me he up for right? He I'm begins to, to slow down to, to be on the boulder next to your, uh, next to your rock. I should, 30. At this point, I can jump, right? Right? At this point, if I get thrown up, then I can jump up higher. I can throw it. So, make an athletics check to throw Vi as this pterodactyl is now uh, beginning to land uh, on the top of the boulder. I mean, if oh, anything... He comes if in for his that, tour landing. How tall is that boulder, first off? Taller, the boulder is probably about 15 feet tall. I can drop 18. I should just be able to jump onto him and grab him. Yeah. So, are you going to throw her to meet him... Halfway in the air, or are you going to if, if, he's him gonna, if he's going to land, I'm gonna let him land. Yeah, if he's gonna land, I'm just yeah. gonna jump onto him. I just jump 18 feet. I'll jump. I'll literally shoot straight up and grab onto him. Yeah. So, uh, the pterodactyl lands on the boulder, and you whoop, jump directly on top of that same boulder. Uh, you are unable to jump on top of him. He is another like seven, eight feet tall. Uh, so it's going to be a, a, I guess you would be surprising him at this point. If anything, if, if I can jump and give no. him a smackdown, because I don't think he can jump and grab him. How big is he? He's he's expecting danger, so it's not a surprise. But I would say he, make oh, make contesting that. initiative checks. If you guys attacked him, then it would be a, a surprise. But if like you're jumping up and he sees you and you're not getting like a ranged attack off, then it's just going to be a contested initiative roll. You didn't click your token. Uh, well, it's nineteen. So, I mean, it's still it still, it still counts. Just click your token to the initiative yeah. and then retype it. You can, you can it type in. it in. Uh, oh, well, I mean, I can't add it. To the well, Matt, Matt has to add you to the order and type it. Let me. I need to get the. There we go. In precarious situations, 2020, let's go. Awesome. Earn that. 13. Initiative of 19. His initiative is 19 as well. What's your dex? Plus four. Plus four? Yeah, you beat his. No, fuck so him. go ahead and you jump and you reach both of your uh, feet, reach the boulder at the exact same time. And he's like, oh, fuck. And he turns around to try to fly away. Make your attack roll if you're going to do that, or you grab him. Is I don't know. Big in, if it's, is he too big to grab? Uh, he seems like he could possibly carry you away. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Can we roll initiative lock attack, or we have to wait for this to play out first? Um. I would say let these two do their turns, and then afterwards you can make your attack. Okay. I guess I'll try to grapple it. Just try and meet him with your hammer. You can do like thirty. Yeah. yeah if you if you yeah, pause away with it, it's gonna be. So much more trouble. A fourteen barely hits. Sweet. I don't think I, I do. I get double attack. I don't know if this works. Yeah, out. it's an attack. Yeah, you get double attack. You, you can call reckless whenever you want. The fourteen. So, fourteen. Oh, I'll, I'll do a reckless attack on this one just in case. Okay. And an eighteen. Oh, just no. Oh, twenty-three. So twenty-three damage total. Oh, twenty-three. Yeah, sorry, can't do math. 
Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, you know, the tear, uh, the pterodactyl just, and you just double smash it in the face as it's attempting to land. It doesn't even get off a squawk as it's trying to fly away. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh my god! Just gosh. squish. Oh. It's dead. Yeah. I'll grab it by its neck and just jump right down. Yeah. Can't you go in the hood. Grab it by its neck. Uh, it's Can like a it? six foot tall, five foot wide creature. So like, uh, you jump down into the orb, and you bring along a massive body with you. It goes <laughs> onto the ground inside the inside the tiny hut. <laughs> oh, that was can I pretty let cool. Lathander Raptor eat it. Yeah. Lathander Raptor want it. Yeah, yeah, Lothander Raptor absolutely wants it. Hell yeah. <laughs> I thought about getting on it, and then I was like, what if it flies away? And then I would go really far. But then I'd be lost! So I didn't do that. So I just smashed it, like a fly. Yeah, you would have been taken right back to that court that you ran away from, I bet. No. Not again. I'm no. glad you Not stuck again. with us. No, Alrighty, I... I think we probably need to get moving if you made any noise, or if someone thinks something's weird, we need to... Yeah. Yeah. Now's the time. Um, as long as you guys are all uh, rested up, right? Then we can just go. And I'm, I'm ready to go. We'll see you with that uh, that blessing and Judas. I'm gonna yes, of course. Okay. Uh, blessing the trigger. All right. <laughs> you feel inspired cool. to continue with the story as his earrings dully glow. So. You travel. Uh, are you going to stealth this? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. I make stealth checks. Oh god, god. Six. Ooh. Oh my god. That's a survival check, not a stealth check. Roll again. Uh, Rook. Uh, Rolling at 20, uh, even it out. Come on, Rook. Come on, Rook. I already, I already rolled that. That's, that's a survival check. Oh, did I? Yes. Yeah. We're right next to each other. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> we wanted a nat 20. Oh, like, no, oh, yeah, 20. That's just, that's just, that's just how it is sometimes. Damn. Oh. What are you all doing? I'm, I'm pretty quiet. Yeah, you oh. all believe that you're quiet. <laughs> Dude, I was just on that, not my gun. I don't want to fuck up Just everyone's walking. Oh my god. <laughs> not me though, not me. You That's have like it. a what a, like a, a twenty something in total. I know, but I rolled like below a ten the first three times, so I. I would I'm, say that a, that a t above a twenty constitutes the clap. Okay, you have a. Yeah! <laughs> Alrighty, so. No one in the audience. As you're that, walking please. through the canyons. Oopsie. That's exactly wow. what happens. <laughs> <laughs> with the How is he walking? Right. walking? <laughs> <laughs> Collectively, you all drop multiple pieces of cooking equipment at the exact same time. Not me. <laughs> Some cooking equipment spirit just decided to have a chaotic day. <laughs> and as that echoing, clanging sound. Uh, travels throughout the canyons. You can hear a distant. <laughs> as something oh. is alerted of, your, uh, alerted of your presence. Well, the stealthy jig is up, so I say we just go fast. Fast is my game! Alrighty. Fast is my game. Very yeah. fast. I can't sure. run really fast, but okay. I can't run really fast either, but I know um, when I want to drive and, you know, I, I can run that fast. Oh, I'm pretty fast. I'm gone, but I have to wait down. I have to slow down so I don't leave you guys in the dust. Yeah. Yeah, because I, could I, I couldn't even carry three, maybe three, but no. <laughs> can you carry me? <laughs> I raise my arms like a child. If it wasn't 100 billion degrees, I would. Nah. Maybe <laughs> yeah. next time? Perhaps. <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> All right. I'm just gonna start going fast. You guys book it down the path. Yeah. yeah. I mean. So, I yeah. Mean, Absolutely. So you book it down the path. Currently, you're actually running towards the direction where that uh, that roar came from, uh, and you reach a T intersection, and you can see to your right. Uh, 
there seems to be a large shadow looming around a corner. And to your left there is uh, an open canyon. And the goblin's like, That's the way to the pit! That's the way to the pit! That's the way to the pit! To the left? Is he motioning? Is he saying to the, the left? left? Yeah. He's, he's the saying left. to head down the left side path. Okay. Um, go on, on the left. Goblin says this. We're going. I'm bouncing! Bounce, 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 <laughs> bounce, bounce. Hop, hop, mm-hmm. hop. Alrighty, alright. So you bounce, 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 hop, 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 <laughs> all the way down this path as fast as you can. Um, I would say everyone make... Well, first, whisper. What you see behind mm. you is oh, God. a massive, gigantic T-Rex. No, <clears throat> turns a distant corner behind you as you get about one round down this pathway. Uh, It's roughly 200 feet behind you, and it sees you as a party. And you start breaking it. We'll pick up the speed. Alright, I'm gonna have to pull in another map, because I was not expecting this encounter, but that's okay! I wasn't expecting an encounter oh, after was, an encounter. I was muted, but as Judas runs, you know, his earrings glow, he hears a tail from beyond and keeps it in mind as he runs. Okay. <laughs> alrighty, alrighty, alright. Let's do... This one should do. Yeah. This one should do. No, that's a horrible quality. Fuck that. Sorry, guys. Let's see. Perfect. I'm stealing one from the internet. Sorry, internet. Speed. 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 How fast can we go? Well, the thing with a T-Rex is that they can move 60 feet. Man. That's, that's, that's pretty fast. But if we all double dash... <laughs> Oh, that's yeah, yeah. I could if I. I and if he double dashes, he has 120. No catches him. No, he has 50 feet of movement, and uh, he can dash for 100. Maybe I should actually pick someone up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Does anyone in the party not reach past 100 feet of movement speed with their? Bitch, family? I'll pick someone up. Who, who's the slowest? Pick me up! Pick me up! Pick me up! Pick me up! I'm gonna pick up the squishiest. Just, yeah. 30, 30, 30, right? Yeah, it's just 90. Yeah. I can't do. It. I can't. I'm not. Yeah, fast I can't get there. Oh. Is there? Have... Okay, so we'll do it like this. Oh no. I'm going to bring up a a map. But before you, this will be the map in case you guys actually get into the combat. If you have any way to dissuade the creature from following you, you can certainly do that. But first, we're going to roll an initiative. And I'm going to keep a counter on how far away you guys are from the creature. Who's the squishiest between Whisper and Judas? 200. (laughs) Just asking, because I know you're both supports. Who's softer? Judas, how much health do you have? Uh, Whisper can move faster than Judas can. The same. I only have thirty. You have thirty, but you can dash dash. He can only. Yeah, he can only. He can, can only dash. dash. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I'm your support, attack. little mm-hmm. support snake boy. <laughs> I was gonna say it doesn't matter anyway. His AC is what thirteen. Mine's a seventeen. Okay. Yeah. I'll. 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 <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> if I'm okay with, with you. Judas, how many hit Let's points see. do you have? Is he muted? Are you muted? Jensen. Jensen. Oh no. I was muted. Got a phone call. Okay, yeah, no. I was I was muted. Okay. Uh, oh, fuck. I was saying that ah because he got, you know, picked up again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's you let no, me. Okay, I didn't want to pick d- him up if he didn't want to be picked up. No. <laughs> oh god. I'm so he, fucked. <laughs> he let you. Ah. And then uh, on the scale of zero to sixty one, he is fifty nine. <laughs> Oh yeah, you're, you're coming right in there! Oh, there's more health than me! Hold he on. more health than me too! I have, like, I have, I have 18, he has 18 con, guys. Oh. But your AC He's is a what? fit boy. 12? A 13? A 13. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. It's okay, 
the pain. Okay, what speed do we need to be able to reach to to? to we we we, we, phys we physically can't. Only Viz physically faster because she's oh. built. She's built for speed. We're not faster than T Rex. <laughs> Ignore the cart. There's no cart. This is a this is a, a pulled map. Uh -huh. But let me pull you guys. Oh, you guys are on this map. Go ahead and place your tokens. Where? Where? Uh, I'd say out. place them here. Where? Oh. At the very we end. Lost the, we this lost map the isn't necessarily to... Uh... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Things are going funky. All right, there we go. This map isn't necessarily for combat just yet. This is going to be uh, to measure uh, distance. So that's the 80 feet. That's 50 feet. That makes it perfect. Yeah, you guys are about 200 feet away from him. Each round, his movement is going to increase 100. And uh, so basically, if you are not moving 100, then you're going to be moving back however many feet this way. All right? Oh, so okay. We... How far do we need to go? So the stretch of a uh, canyon in front of you seems to be about... Uh, maybe a thousand five hundred feet to your destination. We will. None of us will reach it. Wait, no, is there, free no, is there no any way. way that I could get there and come back and grab them? With how fast? No, they you, no it take you. Take you ten rounds just to get there with a hundred feet of movement. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's, it might just it, be in our better favor to just deal with them. Either we fight it, or we find some way to avoid it altogether. Because we there's physically no way we can outrun it. Yeah. We have candles. <laughs> we have candles, but he sees us. He has candles yeah. I have a little bit of magic up my sleeve. Yeah, like I said, if he wants to use their magic, they can. Um, I don't think anything I have will work. Yeah, uh, you can certainly good. make a magical solution to this. Up so, to you guys. You can do anything. How far away is he? He's 200 feet away. And he needs let's go... to be a little closer for me to do anything. I think we, we need to stand and fight. We, there's no way we're all running him. You're yeah. like running and like your shoulders. You're probably you've got him slinged over a shoulder, Madison, right? Madison, you reset the turn order. Yeah. Do we have to look up what we're rolling in? <laughs> As you're sprinting with speed. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll have to. No, I didn't reset it. It's perfectly fine right now. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll wait. I'm only T-Rex. Do you guys see T-Rex? Yeah, I'm only T-Rex. Yeah, you moved map, so um, there are initiatives. Oh, I see. Not my bad. My bad. My Here. Bad. Did it work? No. 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 Okay. It's. I if we, just if have we, to if, remove if, all if, clear list and then. If we. So go ahead and go again. Okay. Right here. Do you see it? Uh, oh, I didn't click my guy. I see the box. Is the box? Okay. That was significantly worse. I'm so sad. You also put our original one in. Just type it in or what? Yeah, uh, you can just put. I your don't remember what. The, I don't remember. Okay. Was mine seven? I think. <laughs> yeah, it was seven. Okay. He he rolled a one. Though, oh, so I that's didn't. Good. I didn't have it. Yeah, there we go. All right, now it's in, uh, and then seven. Three. Love it. Well, he, ro he rolled. He rolled a one initially. Well, I didn't roll that one. I was just to put him on the board. Oh, I got you. All right, so there's gonna be ten rounds of this. To get to that that one thousand roughly one thousand five hundred foot range. Yeah, well, there's no way we are. First are round, it. how much do each of you move? <laughs> I can't. I can't even match that remotely. Oh, so ah, you guys are gonna ah, attempt ah, to? Ah, 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 there's no way we. There's can no point. Think we can't. I don't want to see how it would happen. It, uh, unless yeah. unless, yeah. unless you literally only made I can only move sixty feet. I can't even you... touch a hundred. If you make the T-Rex, you know, not double dash, maybe, maybe, you know, we'd probably get a chance, but if you make him no, double he's, dash... He's, he's, he's straight dashing. dashing. He's straight dashing. He's straight dashing. We're not going to be able to outrun him. I'm okay. not going to be able to outrun him. I guess him. we're just going to have to kill him. Okay. Yeah. There's no right. we can do anything. Well, I mean, there's no, there's no way. Like, there's no way. There's, yeah. no, there's, there's literally nothing we can do. This is D&D. Madison, Madison um, I would like yeah. to send you a spell that I would like to hold until the T-Rex gets, gets within enough. the distance. Yeah, I will yeah, DM it to you. Who left? It's probably Michelle DC. Yeah, probably Michelle. She probably dc There she is. There she's back. Well, I guess we could shoot at some rocks. They're like uh, barrier style. Yeah, absolutely you can do that. 
I'm, so for I'm... those of you that can move 60 feet, it's going to gain 40 feet each round. Uh, oh, and it's 200 he's... feet away. Just he's keep so running! Just run, just run. Please! Here it says run. Here it says a plan. If I take my action to like, do some <laughs> rafting Gosh. or something, no. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not going let's, let's, oh, let's, let's trust yeah. you, Dits. He says he has a plan. Okay. Okay. If you have a plan, you still want to get carried, right? Or do you want to be to like? Eat you? I thought you were still. I thought you were still carrying him. Yeah, I'm that's still why. Carrying. That's why I was doing. That's why I was doing this number. I know. I know. But but if I'm running with you, I'm gonna be really far ahead, and you're not gonna get close to that guy. Then, then, then just stay so, with stay on pace with me, and then you don't have to worry about it. Stay in the back. Okay, please. I'm going to I... So I have range okay. in case it gets close. Okay. I'll stay right, right, right out cool. of range, but enough for him to do whatever he needs to do. And if I need Full to 90. Him, so you're staying about 90 feet away from the party? What, uh, because this is about needs. three rounds. Uh, yeah. Within three rounds, the dinosaur, the T Rex, gains, because uh, you're moving 60, he gains 120 yeah, feet on you, the yeah. slowest of you, uh, the 60 feet I movers. Can, I can only move 60 if you say 90, it'll hit me first. Just saying. All right. I so can only get... move 62. I would like to narrate yeah, how it goes, by the way. Absolutely. <laughs> if that's okay. Sure, sure. So, he's within 120 feet, barreling down the canyon. There's dust being kicked up all behind him. It is a massive creature with brightly colored feathers and blue markings down its side. It has a scar down the front of its snout, and you can see... There is fresh blood dripping from its teeth as it's huffing and puffing, chasing you down this canyon. And so... The, wait, hold on. So it would be in your heads, wouldn't it? Yeah. And so the light from Lathander came to protect the entirety of his chosen party with this holy champion's light. And so, within 120 feet, you see a spark from his earring shoot forward and hit the dinosaur in the face. Now, does the dinosaur make the wisdom save? That's a good question. Let me roll for it. Wisdom saving throw. That is a 20. He does. He does. It does. Now, oh. does he make it to us within that turn? Uh, no, no. He gains another 60 feet on you. He's 20 feet behind you now. I'm uh, so fucked. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm right beside okay. you. As Casey and Rook are running, and Judith, or unless Judith is being carried. He's, He's being, being carried being by Vic. Judith is being carried. <laughs> uh, so Casey and Rook are just running their, their hearts out. And the dinosaur is within 20 feet. You guys have a round to deal with this, whoever's going to try to do something. It's up to you. Oh, fuck, what do I do? <laughs> Let's see. I don't think I can. I have, can I, can, I can't, cause I have. <sighs> okay. I have disarming shot. <laughs> can I do anything? Yeah. If he like picks me up, can I just shoot him in his face so he can like we disorient go, okay. him? I have something I can I can try, but if he doesn't work, then I'm fighting him. It, it's can I safe. shoot it's all him with some rocks? Can I freaking I don't know, do some Monster Hunter World mechanics over here? <laughs> well, you can certainly do anything you like. Anything is possible. Can I shoot us some rocks? Are we are we fighting, him? guys? Are we fighting? I still have a few no. more tricks on my sleeve. Well, so... try, try one more because I'm, I'm hitting him if this next one fails and yeah. we're just fighting. Yes. So, take, take I mean, we've got a whole have round. One action, so... one turn to do something to delay this creature. If not, then we're going to get into combat and the initiative is going to go. In theory, can everyone hit it. Rocks? Can, yeah, you can absolutely shoot at some rocks. I'm going to so, try and shoot at some rocks. Let still. me say, make a perception check really quick. Okay. To find an outcropping that looks like it might tumble with a 20. Yeah. So with that 20, there are boulders and rocks lining the canyon. And that 20 allows you to kind of identify uh, one of the... Uh? Hello? Everybody? 
Oh, I'd make an attack roll. Uh, could you, can you hear could us? You, yeah, could, could you, could you, okay, sweet. Could you repeat that? Because I had no idea what anyone said for five seconds. Uh, Rook is, uh, Rook is making a shot against a rock trying to have it block nice. the path or hit nice. the T-Rex or something. It's a 14. In, in theory, if Whisper has a high perception, couldn't she help? Yeah. Uh, you can't really, uh, it's, it, well, that's not the perception. The perception she saw, rock, A, C, G, D. The I AC know, of inanimate, inanimate objects. Uh, stone is 17. Yeah. So a 14. It. You take three quick shots at it, but it's just not budging. It's it's. There seems to be some harder material just behind the sandstone. Yeah, and I can't move my action anymore to dash, so I'm literally the first one that's gobbled up. Can I hand Jesus Raptor over to? Uh, like I said, this is an action before the initiative, so you have your initiative after. Is there any way I can jump over and just smack that fucking rock as hard as I can? I'll birthday slam it if I need to. I just need to know. Just whatever okay, it takes to fucking like, like, I'm like 40, I'm going, 50 feet high. I'm going to just... Uh, yeah. Do you have anything else? Anybody else they want to do before I just go and initiate this? Any, anybody have anything else they want to do? I could try to mold earth to help her with the rocks, but I don't know if it's close enough. Any 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 kind of magic anything, or I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna try this and see if it works. I don't Judith? have any magic that can do anything. It is up to you to how you want to play this. All right, so Judas is How do you think, spell. Casey? How am I, I'm gonna hold I'm going, this? Spell? Yeah, I'm going. I have a, I have hold on, a full hold on, turn. hold on. I thought we were going in a full like turn order. Judas is one of the last people. No, 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 no. no. We're, right now, this is a free action, Tom. Yeah, this is free oh, action. Yeah, no. You get um, one free action before this creature reaches you all. Oh, sweet. All right. Uh, and so his sight from the light was gone, and we're gonna cast uh, good old blindness, deafness, <laughs> Yay. and blind. he is blind. Okay. <laughs> if uh, so, he makes a Constitution saving throw. Yes. Ooh, baby, Probably. constitution. That's quite a bit. No, a oh, seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. He fails with a plus four to con, which I am pretty happy. He is blind. He's blind. Run. Just run. Just keep, just keep <laughs> going. Yeah. Just okay. go. So he's blind. He's within 20 feet of you. He knows your general direction, but if you guys probably get within one full movement of him, then he probably can't do much. So we're going to go to a uh, turn order. So, it's going on initiative right now. He is blind, but if uh, if he can get one attack on you guys, or move within... Yeah, if he can get one attack on you guys... He's last, isn't he? He will shit yeah. initiative. Yeah. We'll get, 60, we'll get at least 60 feet away from him, and then he can't see or hear us. Yeah, that's really fun. Like, I don't think... Yeah. I think we'd and he's not going to get a dash. He can't dash while blinded down a canyon. That's not going to work out well. <laughs> yeah. Especially where he is right now, he's still all the way back here. So he has to go through all. Oh. No, no, no. He's moved up. He's, he's, he's oh, moved up that oh, far right now. He, yeah, he, he's, yeah, he didn't. He just didn't move him. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, so, so he's twenty. Yeah, feet we should be fine. Right? No, we don't. We probably don't even have to go through. Problem yeah, is, so yeah. you we need booking, the eyes of this T Rex are glowing. Everyone hide. Because uh, right. it doesn't okay. last. No, it doesn't run. last. No, 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 no. We can, we can get away. Just well, leave. It re-rolls at the end of each of his please, turns. Please read that. Yes, so every everyone hide. I'm I need to cry. Cat Casey again. <laughs> the trickster. Alright. Everyone makes stealth cool. checks. Oh, okay. I'm sorry to point that out to everyone, but... <laughs> I mean, I if, it, if it instantly yeah. passed, it would have been... Oh, come on, Bells. Don't jingle today. Don't jingle, <laughs> Don't today, jingle today, Bells. Today. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Guys, guys, I said hide. <laughs> oh, man. And that's with advantage, too. All right. So, you all hide. And then the creature makes an investigation check. Oh, wait, oh, hold on. Roll your, roll your, roll your thing, yeah. You a natural 20? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He natural 20s on investigation. I'll roll a save to see how many turns <sighs> it takes. Con save. Con save. That's a oh, nine. That so that fails again. Turn. So can we try and hide again? <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. He I mean, failed his con save. He's blind again. Go ahead can and try again. You guys have an action to try to hide can we, again. Can we, can we, can we, we have a candle. 
So he can't sniff us out and he can't, he can't sniff you out, but he can certainly look for you. Uh, with what eyes? He's blinded. That's the point, is but, once he's not blind, he can start looking for you. Yeah. So if you want to make another health check, you can roll again. Okay. Is that what you guys want to do? You want to do another stealth? Here. For those Madison, who want, if, Madison, if I if I if I roll up if I roll up and hit him, is it at advantage? He can't see. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm going to simply cast um use one of my first level spell slots. I'm gonna cast Wrathful Smite as a bonus action. All right. That's one spot slot down. I'm going up and I'm going to hit him. All right. It's with advantage, right? Yes. That is a 23. A 23 certainly hits. You deal with so nine plus six. And I'll make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Alrighty. That is a three. This guy is like, Drop your spell. He's scared of me. He's running the opposite direction as fast as he can. We're leaving. Go. 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 <laughs> he go. drops go. his go. spell. Go. 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 Be frightened of you. Right. Can we yeah. can we run? He has to make a wisdom check on each of his turns, or he's running away. He's frightened, and he's as fast as he can in the opposite direction. Uh, he doesn't have to run away, but he can't run towards you. Okay. Well, he's still scared. We just need yeah. to go. He's still scared. Yeah, well, so really, he, 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 he can say he's afraid scared. of you. Or you guys could leave it if you'd like. We're leaving. We would like to um, book it. Yes, well, I mean, I can't. I can't. Um, but to pass both of these in order to chase you guys, basically. Good hands. Yeah. As All right, we go. run just to help us, because it's a 30 feet, I'll cast 30 feet behind the farthest back. I'll, she'll stay back for a second this round and use minor illusion to make it sound like there's people running the other way. Come on. Confuse them. Come on, disoriented. Yeah, so disoriented absolutely. How the, there's no yeah. Way. he's blind and he's also afraid. <laughs> yep. Oh, and I need to my footsteps the other way. Yep. That's a lot. And he hears That's footsteps the other way. He's going to make a real quick intelligence check. I will say maybe what's your what's your spellcasting modifier? Uh plus 7. Plus 7. Wait, so what? 8 No, it's 10 plus 7 is a DC then. 17. So 17. Your spellcasting modifier is plus seven. My spell attack is plus seven. It's a. Favorite. Oh okay. Oh okay okay. About okay. to say so my plus... my spellcasting modifier is only like Four. five. So your spell save DC is fourteen. Fifteen. He still fails. He rolled a ten. He rolled a ten, yeah. so he's gonna start walking in that opposite direction. Oh good. yeah. <laughs> Run. Okay. Yes. And then each turn he's going to make a con and a wisdom save. Each turn you guys are going to get uh. Your full movement and his other movement, the other direction. Yes. So this is <laughs> okay, he so he's no longer he blind. The constitution. He's no longer blind, but he is afraid and he's walking the other direction. He feels better with each step. It's sort of like the whole, uh, what's it called, Pavlov effect? Where he's rewarded <laughs> yeah. for each step away? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so he makes his... 50 feet in that direction, you guys make your full movement, so you guys are roughly 150 feet away from him now. He goes again with another wisdom save. Wisdom save. He makes, uh, it. He makes it, but that was his full movement, so uh, he's, he's 300 feet in the opposite direction, he's and he's going to make people. one more he's intelligence gonna, check he's to he's see realize that me. you guys so fucked him over. That's a 15. You guys fucked him over. Fine. You what guys is are your... so far away, and you used the, the the candle. I'm going to say, with the 300 distance, you guys have lost him. Nice. Nice. Oh, oh thank goodness. I used a I'm third and a second level spell slot. Oh. No, Barely care. avoiding the combat with the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh. Okay. We... Smooth. Very I smooth. I hit Anton. I'm gonna, if I can, I'm gonna instantly make another perception check. <laughs> Cause I'm All not, right. not in the mood. <laughs> you feel inspired. <laughs> Cause he's on. 120 feet, bro. 120 <laughs> feet. I'm so sorry. Uh, 16, 18. With that 18, the path ahead of you is clear. And as you travel quicker than, than before, uh, the canyon opens up slowly at first, and then immediately into a wide, 
clearing. It seems that you've passed the canyons of the Kingdom of Stone. And you've now gotten into the area where it is a flat desert, apart from the spire, a group of buildings next to the spire. You can now see where a massive hole in the earth drops down. And there seems to be a uh, walled encampment just to the side of it, attached to this pit. Further behind it, you can see a small set of spires uh, similar to the main towers uh, that characterize the kingdom. There don't seem to be any dinosaurs in sight, and the pit is just ahead of you. You have a clear shot. You said there's a campsite? No, 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 no. It's, it's a... Uh, here. Let me... Let you guys see. Actually, everyone make uh, stealth checks really quick. One last time as you're approaching this encampment. Uh, with your 18 perception, you see over the walls and onto a group of towers that are guarding the entrance to the pit. Of course, you could go to other parts of the pit if you'd like, uh, but you do see this encampment from a distance. <laughs> nice stealth. Thanks. I tell the bells to be quiet. There's nice. a man. Fuck that man. He's dead. Oh. Is he dead, though? He already did. Oh, uh, that would have been such a good nat 20. <clears throat> um. With that stealth I... check, you guys as a group seem to be pretty unnoticed in this clearing. I mean, is there any reason for us to go, not go around? And where, where the fuck is, like, the pit pit? Where's, where are these fuckers? We came for a rescue mission, I don't know where they are. Is this the pit? This is the entrance to the pit. This is the Dinoid oh. entrance. Oh, it has okay. a set of platforms that lower down into the pit itself. Um, oh. The pit, uh, if you walk to a separate section to investigate, uh, which you could if you'd like, or you could approach this um, this barricaded encampment. How tall are these walls? Walls seem to be about 25 feet tall. I mean... How, can we ask the goblin how he got out real quick? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. Uh, since Casey's not here, I'll just walk over to the basket and open it up. Hey! <laughs> nah! Don't scream. It scares me. But, um, how did you get out? <laughs> they were gonna eat me! Uh -huh. They were gonna eat me! Y yes, they were. Okay, continue. How did you get out? I covered myself in butter. And <laughs> what? I, I slipped away! You, you covered yourself in what? In butter. In butter? Huh? Like yellow? And yeah. uh... Melty? Oh yeah! How close. They couldn't grab me! So I ran. I ran and I ran and I ran and I ran. You covered yourself in butter and they couldn't grab you. I see. Okay. Um... I'll look over at the others. Do you guys have butter by any chance? <laughs> or... <laughs> Cause... No. Um... I'll look back at the goblin again. But other than that, when did you... When was the best time for you to get out? Like, how did you get out? The, the pit is deep. I couldn't climb. It's too... It's too deep. Mm. As they were... They were carrying me to be eaten. Just as the door is open, I slipped out. When do the, the when do the doors open? How do they open? When who opens these doors? Usually, just before dinner time. When's dinner time? <laughs> Should be soon. Oh, nice. Okay, okay. So we just need butter and time. Thank you! And I'll- I'll shut it. 
All right. I look at the others. Apparently, the gates open when it's dinner time. Sorry about that. Back. You good? Also, time like the seasoning. No, no, no. Time like the. Uh, the conceptual. You know. I was yeah. making a funny. Did nobody notice? Oh, I'm just like Judas. <laughs> there was a joke going That's on. That's rough. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't don't have butter, but I have got. She's gonna reach in her bag and look at all that candy and shit she bought that she never ate. Um, I've got jam. That doesn't it'll seem help. like it will make you slippery. It seems like mm. that will make you real sticky. Well, I'm really sweaty. That. Does that help? <laughs> huh? I'm really, I'm really sweaty. Does that help? Um, it might. I just, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know how why soon. Does he, why does he say butter and time? Well, he says, well, he says time because it says he said dinner time is when they open the gates. And then he said butter because he said he covered himself in butter and that's how he slipped away. I mean, quite literally, he slipped away. I guess they tried to grab him and they couldn't grab him. Which I guess isn't a bad idea, but we don't have enough butter, so I don't really know what we're gonna do. Well, where are they holding the, the, the people that we need to find? In the pit. <sighs> okay, then just ask him maybe where we can get into the pit and then oh, yeah. maybe where the people are in the pit. And You're right! Just asking for a butter. You're right! I'll just walk up to the giant dinosaurs and say, Hey! No, can no, I no, see no. Crazy man, crazy man. man, ask crazy man. Is the goblin is the goblin saying about being another way Madison decides is going to the front gates? I asked him. Uh, he doesn't say anything actively. If you want to ask him about it. Yeah, I'm like, in the, he's in the basket, so I'm asking in my head. Do you have, is there another way in? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I, I got out. I got out to the door. <laughs> okay. He has nothing. He went through the door. He rolled on the dinosaur out. Why don't so, we just wait until dinner time until the doors open and then we could sleep in? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of our best bet at the moment. You guys could oh. investigate the pit. How do, uh, isn't the pit inside? What? The pit. This is the pit, right? No, yeah, yeah. no, the, the pit is massive. It is outside. Oh. Okay. So we don't have to go so, through the gate, right? This is no, just, this is just one camp. You don't have to go through the gate if you don't want to. You can investigate the pit first and see if there is, like, See what's going on, see, but you guys wall. haven't actually walked up to the pit. Okay, I thought this whole wall was around the pit, so it's like. Oh no 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 no. Okay okay okay, that was just a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll just walk up to the pit right now. Yeah, on the map, it's, it's right in front of it. The actual. So yeah, pit. with those stealth checks, you make it up to the pit unseen. Uh, and as you approach it, there's kind of like, around you usually there's the sound of the wisping wind and small dry bushes being crackled uh, with the breeze and dust being scraped across the floor but as you approach the pit the sound completely deadens because it is just like five six hundred feet wide of an opening that goes 200 feet down into the darkness below. Yeah, that's a pit. <laughs> that's uh, inside, you can hear distant screaming, distant roars. I am thoroughly scared. You guys see any way possibly down from here? Is the only contraption that lowers things, is there only one of those things? Uh, seems to be two of them. Is, is it, are any of them close to us? No, they're both inside the encampment. Mm -hmm. You could barely see the tops of both of them, Whisper could, uh, from far away. Although well, there's no jumping down into the pit, I don't think I could make that jump, unless... No, 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 I can't. No. <laughs> I think, I think that would hurt. I think it would hurt a lot. Yeah. I... Do any of you see a way down? Maybe naturally? No. Anything at all? Mm. Would one of you like to make a check to see if you see anything besides what we can Should I make it? 
I don't know. I'm like, I'm asking it. I, I can't. I'm not skilled at it. Whisper's higher? Whisper's is probably higher. My yeah. perception is insane. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Please make the perception checks, please. I will make the perception check. What am I perceiving? <laughs> How You're looking down perception. into the pit to see if there's a natural way down. Is there just <laughs> any way, anything that can help us, really? Bring it to the fucking pit. Can I guide myself or have Judas guide me? Certainly. You feel inspired to keep going with this story. Alright. 21. 25. 25. You are rolling the best you've ever rolled with these guidances. <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> Alright. So, with the 25 perception, you take a good look at the pit inside, around the edges. From where you are right now, you can look directly down and see that there seems to be uh, three floors. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, two floors, uh, bottom floors to this pit. And you can see in the far distance, it's only like 200 feet down, so you can actually see down there that there are, uh, people. People? In, people in dozens and dozens and dozens of fences, cages, and tiny little pits being held there and there are also livestock there's uh workhorses and cows and sheep and things that are stolen from nearby towns and villages there's a second floor uh that seems to have less people but it seems like they're uh more accommodated there seems to be things like large tables, chairs, beds, or at least mats. But that that bottom floor has nothing. It is just a pit filled with humans and humanoids, and cows, and dinosaurs guarding them. Is the floor that's more accommodated also being guarded? Uh, it's being guarded by one, uh, one large Allosaurus. Right, so... There's a whole bunch of people down there, and you know, I really, really would like to go down there. And, you know, figure out what exactly is going on. Uh, with the pit itself, you can see that it is kind of, uh, bell-shaped. In that, uh, it's kind of wider at the bottom like a sinkhole oh okay that's not safe nope not Ocho yeah so as you're peeking over like you can see that you're on a ledge you're you're on an overhanging ledge this doesn't this doesn't abide by workplace ethics exactly. it doesn't seem to be anywhere to naturally take this up they try out. you can <laughs> see that there is a uh a stalagmite that reaches about 50 feet up on the other side, but, mm -hmm. uh, it's, you could take it, but it's still going to be 150 feet drop to it. All I'm saying is how, that they're going to have another far, thing coming once we sue them. How far <laughs> did you say the, uh, the, the drop was again? 200 feet drop. Ah. Uh, 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 I can just shoot from the bottom of that, subtle flex. Hmm. <laughs> oh. How important Dating. are your friends, just by the way? Well, I'm not leaving them. Oh, I see. Do you see them up here? Um, not really. I kind of... It's kind of too bright to use my goggles right now. Do you see the centaur with that kind of a particular shape you can make out? Or is it too far down? Um... She does, in fact, see the centaur shape. Mm. You see the centaur shape, actually, um, at the bottom, bottom floor. But not in any of the cages or pits. Mm. She's walking between them and kind of uh, seems to be conversing with the individuals that are locked in there. Hey, uh, Madison, for future yep. reference, uh, does Misty Step stop momentum? If I were to, let's say, um, Misty Step after falling 150 feet? I've asked the same question, haven't I? I would say no. Oh. 
That's, I'm pretty sure that was my answer, too. <laughs> wait, wait, so in theory, if you dropped 100 feet and you misty step like, off to the- across, would it just keep going? Like a portal? When you misty step, you can't, uh, misty step, like, orientation. I see. I think, I think it's more of like, you know, if you're falling, misty step, okay, you're cool, but you can't jump off a ledge, drop right the ground, misty step, and expect to be safe. Okay, okay. I think he's, I think he's trying momentum to get continues. Yes. Uh, that's kind of why Misty Step versus, like, Dimension Door. Mm-hmm. Dimension, Dimension Door would actually take care of you, but, uh, Misty Step won't. Yeah. Oh, look at the other- How far down? One more time? I'm sorry. 200 feet. 200? Damn it! Oh, if only it was 130 feet, because then I can message her. <laughs> I mean, if we can get lower, I could get you lower, maybe. But what's the I don't want to do. Let's it's just already, do Minecraft already, and dig a hole. It's already. It's already you can certainly stressed. do that. <laughs> you can dig a hole to a lower area if you'd like. Oh, you know, we, we, could, we also have rope. We also have rope. That'd be one very long, dangerous rope. <laughs> It'd be long, I would just need to go down far enough to where I could send her a message. And not get noticed. We, we, if we find like this. Uh, if, Mm. Yeah. I mean, there's got to be a way they get down. Yeah, the it's weird fucking port. things. Port. Oh, fuck these fucking NPCs, goddammit. <laughs> 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 no, I have no fucking ties to these NPCs as a character. Me either. God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> I say we miss for Casey. Why are you trying to save them again? Did he say why? Why are we trying to save them again? If you have the ability to act, yes, you should. I don't know. I mean, it's the reason the reason the world the reason the world goes bad is because good people don't act. Wait, are you guys saying you see you see tons of people at the bottom of there, and you just you just say, oh, we have no ties to them? Well, I don't. You just go into there. I don't know Slaves. them. Slaves. Oh, okay, it's not my problem. What would what you do if you were if you saw a slave? If you were a slave, life would be a living hell. We're just gonna leave them. If I was a slave, I just run away, cause I run fast. Okay, but they can't, so they they just don't deserve to be let free. I guess not. Maybe they should learn how to run faster. Rook, don't don't bother. Apparently, all she cares about is herself. So don't bother trying to argue with her. I'm just saying, it's 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 a lot. It's a lot. And you, want us to, and you want us to swim the castle to go get the thing back from the big boss, man. That's a lot. I never asked for you to come. I said you can yeah. come if you want to, but yeah. you don't if have you, to. Wait, you said if you help us, we'll help you. Uh, so we'll get, get it going. Well, I think your best solution is probably to maybe, uh, I don't know, use the thing that actually gets you down. Wouldn't that be easier? Yeah. Right now it is looking like our best option. Can't and... find another way down. Um, the little green man said, just wait till dinner time and the gate's open, then we can just get inside. I had some. Sounds... I could try something a little weird. What's your plan, Wisp? Okay, so this is a DM question. I have a spell. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a minute casting time. Oh, hi, Sam. <laughs> uh, I might... I might go ahead and try it. Augury. Okay. Specific course of action. So, it, I'm just trying to make sure I'm understanding this correctly. Mm -hmm. So, it's like I say, okay, other divine entity, I, don't, I guess my god. <laughs> yeah. Um, do I just say, if we do this, and then it gives the response? Is that how it works? Yes. Okay, <laughs> we'll do it. She's gonna sit down and set up a little thing for a minute. <laughs> well, <sighs> time to talk to some gods. Or well, my god, hopefully. Um. If she's talking to hers, I'm gonna try and talk to mine beside her. No spell. I'll, like, just kind of meditate on it and see if anything comes. Yeah, sure. Okay. She'll probably. <laughs> Specific action. Okay. I actually don't know what specific. She'll ask her team first. That's fair. She would think to do that. If we could ask the divine entity 
anything based on a singular action that we were going to do, what action do you think is our most likely that we're about to do? Uh, dinner time? Should we Sneak wait in a dinner time, time probably. It's likely. Alright. Set up. She's gonna close her eyes and be thinking about big boy with his nice mask. <laughs> like, um, never done this before. So, if we were to say, hide out, wait until dinner time, those gates open, and we go in, trying to sneak to go save this, um, friends of Casey's, how's that gonna go? Wait, can I, can, can I ask something real quick? Because mask and everything, and it says there you have to have like gem and laid sticks, like dragon bones or something like pertains to your god. Do you roll? Do you roll a coin? Do you flip a coin? For mask? <laughs> Who's uh, money? He's not money though. Oh. <laughs> if he was money, I would. <laughs> <laughs> no, she actually has a little. Um, I'm glad you said that. She actually has a little mask that she carries. So what is what is on. the exact question that you're asking? <laughs> um. Her exact question is, if we hide and wait out until dinner time to sneak down to save these people, how is that going to go? Hmm. Uh, let's see. It would probably be whoa. Ooh, that's not good. Do we know that now? <laughs> well... <laughs> Does she hear that? oh. That's a good question. Does she hear the response in his voice, Madison, or does it sound like a weird other does entity? Does it you just get a bad feeling? Um, I would probably tell you this. You begin to feel a violin-esque string of movement flow through you. Your knees and hips and legs start to sway and move with the music. You get one step, two steps, and then there's not a place for your foot to go in front of you. There's nothing there. There's... It's whoa. Do you know? Open her eyes after a second. It's the wrong choice. We don't need to be doing this. Something's gonna go wrong. Can you teach me how to do that sometimes? Uh, I'm, like I'm beside her on the, on the ground in that yeah. Uh, Casey. Uh, so you... Make a... Make a charisma... Just roll a d20, add your charisma modifier. Ready. Oh no. Ooh! 22. Alright. With a 22. You focus in on your connection with your with your deity, with Lathander. And the sun just above you seems to burn bright and burns hot. It feels like it's almost oppressive and it's almost pushing you down into the pit. It wants you to go. But there seems to be a There seems to be a direction to this pushing heat. And it seems to be directing towards that stalagmite. I'm getting... I just kind of like really that it's... I'm feeling like he's pushing me towards that. The stalagmite. <laughs> I suppose that's where we ought to be going. Right. I look at my blessed rapper. Does raptor does he do anything? Do we just stare at each other for like a second? Your blessed blessed raptor stares you in the eyes and I nod. <laughs> you know, affectionately. That's what I was expecting. Actually, nods as well. <laughs> I pat him on the head. Yo, Madison, are there a lot of spirits here? Do I hear them? <laughs> Just, you could just, I want to own it. <laughs> you would hear a cacophony. Oh, that's a good, good sign. In the pit? In the pit. I was attempting a joke. There are a lot of dead people down there. Oh. No, that oh. must be like a very fun 
fun place. So what's the plan? I think we need to go to that stalagmite. And uh, what's the positioning of the stalagmite again? Could you just from the positioning is on the other side of the pit, so it's basically opposite side from the the encampment. I don't have like a map yet for it. So well, it's, it's not a map yet. It's I don't have a map for every single section of the pit. Yeah, you're fine. Oh, but I'm 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 heading that way. I'm getting I'm getting I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting like pushed towards it. This is the map for if you were to get into combat at this point. <laughs> Okay, well, we're not gonna yeah. I'm gonna follow. Yeah, yeah. yeah we're we'll gonna I'm, follow. We gonna vibe. All right. So using the same stealth check you'd made before, you walk your way around the pit, dart darting between uh, rocky outcroppings and uh, broken sections that dip down of the pit, and you reach next to that stalagmite where, as you peer down, yeah, there's that large stalagmite, but something about it there seems to be a a smoothness to the side that's closest to you like a slide well he hasn't led me he hasn't led me wrong yet so you think we should just he pushed me over here and now I am, I am, a, I'm, I'm very small. Um. Do you want to maybe give you rope? Have you somebody walk down it and see more what's down there below before we decide to full send? I could do that. Pretty good at that. All right. So you're gonna tie a rope to somewhere, rope down as low as you can, and then make the slide? Yeah, just try, just try and like see, to let her scope it out and see what actually if it's actually a slider which is gonna fall off to our death. Just have her take a look at it real fast. Yeah, sure. into the pit. Alright. So you find an area to tie off a rope and let yourself down 50 feet. And as you're looking for somewhere to tie, the rock that you're tying on seems to be worn. Almost like this has been done before. And you kind of overlay your rope in the same same groove that was uh, inlaid in the past. The rope goes down 50 feet. The stalagmite reaches up 50 feet, so there's still about a 100 foot drop between you and the stalagmite. And as you get closer, you can get a good look. That smooth side of the stalagmite it looks like maybe you could probably reduce the fall damage if you uh, if you aim for it. <laughs> Look up at the others. <laughs> no, like Renaissance, not Renaissance, reconnaissance. Renaissance. <laughs> like do like a have like a my fingers like a person and then do like jump. <laughs> You, uh, by the way, Judas gives you a thumbs up when you turn to look at the party on this one. <laughs> Isn't it touch dog? Uh, not for me. Not for oh, my class. No, I have a range mind. of 60 <laughs> feet. I was, I was corrected. Um, can, we, can we tie 50 feet more rope so it's even less damage? Yeah, you like, absolutely can. Someone make a survival check to make sure that the rope is secure as you're tying a secondary rope to this first one to reach all a hundred, you, uh, hundred feet down. Me? Mm -hmm. All me? Guidance, guidance, please. <laughs> uh, he gives all you me. a thumbs up instead. You now have that instead. <laughs> Sorry, Whisper. It's fine. Well, right. Whisper's already up. You you would have had to... Yeah, uh, pull her back up. It's right now what the information is Roll. Yeah, add a d4. Hey. Awesome, awesome. awesome. So I will say that this rope will be able to hold, uh... I'm pretty light. It'll probably be able to hold one person at a time, but it will be able to hold you all the way to the end. Okay. You guys ready? Do you want me to try and jump it first? <laughs> sure. Whatever you want to do, Wes. Um, I'll be right behind you. She's using message, by the way. It's a cantrip. And they're in range to talk. Otherwise, I don't think they'd be able to hear me. 
Um, yeah, because you're way down into this pit, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm way down, but message has 120 feet range, so I'm just messaging. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Uh, once she gets the rest of the way down via the rope, as close as she can get with those two rope links, she's gonna... Oh boy, she's gonna jump! All so right. Like... So, there's only about... Uh, let's see. There was 200. You took down 100. And then the stalagmite is 50. 50 feet jump. 50 feet jump. Oh, this is gonna hurt. But you so also you have the slide, so it's supposed to... You also have the slide. Six. The thing is, you're not actually slamming into the ground at the 50 feet. You're going okay. to take 76 halved. <laughs> Shit. Dude, fuck, oh man. Fuck, okay. Man. Roll all ones. 76. That's a 29. It's halved. Halved to 14. So have... Okay. So you take 14 uh, bludgeoning damage as you grind your way down the stalagmite. Oh, you don't have the evasion anymore. Just, right. just so it, she wants to look right. cool. She absolutely did some rope shit to make it look cool, even though what they cannot see is her face going. <laughs> <laughs> but right. it does seem to uh, you are down. You are currently at the very bottom level of the pit, and you can see maybe a hundred and fifty feet uh, across the pit. There are dinoids working to corral humans into into fences and tending to livestock cows. Um, can I do a perception check to see if there's anybody near me of important? Yeah, go ahead and make a perception check. I'm gonna guide myself, because <laughs> you just can't do it. Ooh. Yo, oh my gosh. Ooh. 31. Okay, 30, 31. God dang. That I is your second nat 20 on perception. I, I don't care if it's people from that party. I want to see them if I know them. Dang. If the party I was me. not expecting you to get uh, this far down this route. All right, cool. So, with this 31 perception, you notice a few things. The centaur that you've been looking for and the band of individuals that they'd been traveling with that you remember vaguely from uh, whenever you witnessed their training session... Mm -hmm. her band is in the second floor uh, locked away within uh, within that more accommodated fenced in area mm -hmm. but the centaur is currently tending to people on the first floor and you can kind of uh, you can see she's almost like being a patron she's giving them food she's talking to them. She's reading something to them. You don't know exactly what she's saying, but there seems to be comfort being uh, shared. Uh, there is a Triceratops that is uh, just behind her uh, watching as she's doing this. Uh, seemingly keeping guard, making sure she's not doing anything wrong. And there, there are uh, there is one more Triceratops at the very bottom, maybe about 80 feet from you, that is tending to some cows. There seems to be two Triceratops on the bottom floor. The one Allosaurus that is guarding the uh, the second floor, and then all the dinos that were up top. Key. Also, one last thing. Maybe yep. only about 50 feet from you. Close to where one of the humanoid pits uh, is and close to where a uh, group of cows is grazing on planted hay. There's a well. And something about that well is it's off to you. It's okay. only about like 50 feet away from you, so you can kind of not too difficultly make out that the creases of the stonework of the well they seem to align and make a pattern there seems to be thieves can't 
hidden Ooh. within the stonework of the well itself. Okay. Would it be possible? Because I'm assuming there's a ton of people down here. Yeah. Would it there's be an absolute ton of people? Would that give me any sort of maybe advantage? Because she wears all black. To a stealth check to stealth over there. The the dinoids are all occupied, so I would give you advantage anyway. Yes. Okay. She's gonna try and stealth. Or at over least there. I would make it really easy because they're not even working on like normal perception rules. They're not looking for you. They're being occupied. So your stealth is gonna be pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I disappear. <laughs> Sorry, boys. Whisper gone. Man, you've been rolling like rogue well. Jeez, like a rogue, real dude. well. Dude. Like, this is what I'm made for. Waiting to reliable talent, bro. Oh my gosh, yeah. No, she's gonna never fail after that. I'm sneaking over to the well and I'm gonna start reading what's on it. Alright, so on the well and you're about like 20 feet away from this uh triceratops that is uh that is tending to cows next to you completely preoccupied doesn't even notice you approach as you're kind of dashing between cows you get to the well and on the side of the well written within the creases of the stonework you can read oh, give me just a second it's actually a note on my phone oh i have to spread my notes between multiple places sorry perfectly fair all right it reads welcome fellow disciple prove your oh. cunning and i'll guide your running Prove your cunning, and I will guide your cunning. It seems to be... The text seems to flow down into the well itself. Well, uh, time to go meet the girl from the ring, boys. You hop down? Gonna... Mm, yeah. <laughs> Carefully. Okay. As you slip down into the well, there seems to be little pock marks on the sides that spiral down and down and down and down and down down this well and you reach the bottom at the very bottom uh, there seems to be an actual mask <gasps> that is just nailed to small little opening and written across the front of the mask in Thieves Can it says what can't talk but will reply when spoken to oh shit oh this god used you know, to be I a riddle written yeah, you know, as Kylie's a real test bad. a test of cunning uh, to guide you further as that little opening it seems to have a small little breeze coming through it. Tiny little breeze. Oh, uh, okay. Can you repeat the riddle one more time? The riddle says, What can't talk, but will reply when spoken to? Oh, oh my god, I got it. I got it. <laughs> She's gonna lean down up to the hole and be like, Hello? <laughs> and wait for an echo. Absolutely. And you kind of, hello. And you hear back a, hello, 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 hello. Do you walk a little bit into this opening? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you walk a little bit into the opening, and it opens up into a dozen different small little passageways. Okay. Okay. Uh, is there any more, thank God for dark vision. <laughs> is there no any there more... doesn't seem to be any more markings no no more okay. no more thief again okay no problem 
she's gonna think about it, think about it. Take the time to go up to the different... These are large enough for her to walk through these different passageways, right? Mm hmm She's gonna go to each one of them, and again, speak, and see what happens. Sure. You get to the first of a dozen, you're... Hello! And you can hear, hello, hello, hello. The second one, hello! Hello, hello, hello. You get down the list down to about the fifth one. And you go, hello! And there doesn't seem to be a response. Just gonna go down that one. Alright. And you Being use careful, this... of course. Yes, absolutely. You use this this method of following tunnels and hello 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 nothing and it just keeps going and it keeps going and you walk five minutes ten minutes there's a labyrinth of tunnels underneath the canyons and underneath the spire that you've discovered and they seem to be at least one path Seems to be enchanted to not allow echoes. Mm -hmm. Keep going that way. You keep going? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, you keep going. And it just keeps following. It keeps going. There's 10 more minutes. 20 more minutes. 30 minutes of walking. You haven't reached the end. And eventually you, you see one thing strange, at least. You can hear uh, somewhere off the distance a. Uh... Hello. 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 Oh my god, <laughs> As there is a distant feline creature that seems to be doing similar to what you're doing. I'm gonna. I'm gonna follow their voice. Okay. Sure. So, for a few minutes, you follow that cat voice, and eventually you uh, go down a path of tunnels that leads into a small opening where there is a, a small group of cat-like creatures, all dressed in adventurous clothing, backpacks, walking sticks, rations, pots and pans. Uh, some of them carry small little weapons, and uh, you pop out into the opening, and they're like, Oh no! Ah! Ah! They seem to not be reacting well to you intruding in on them. No, oh, sorry. What did I mean to? Oh, adventure! Ah! Speak your yeah. name. Speak your purpose. Ah! <laughs> uh, whisper, and I'm following the tunnels to try and figure out what's at the end. Whisper. Ah! Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, friend? Of course. Oh, okay. Oh. And they kind of lighten up a little bit. And they're still wary of you, but... What can we do for you? <laughs> well, I came into the area because a few of my friends and I... Uh... We're, we're coming here to save people, pretty much. Um, but then I found that well that's got the writing on it, so I came down. Oh, well, okay. Uh, well, this is a labyrinth. My name, yeah. my name is Gorin. All right. Nice to meet you, Gorin. Why are you here? G O U R I N. <laughs> oh, here. Oh, we are a group of explorers, and this is your mm -hmm. holy grail of unexplored passages. Oh, unexplored. Hmm. Well, that's what we thought, but there seems to be an enchantment from one side of the path to the next, leading... <laughs> Out of the passages. Out yeah. of the kingdom. Oh, out of the kingdom. 
It goes very far. Oh boy, I'm not really trying to leave without my friends. But anyway, I'm Gorin. This is Chelsea, and that's Patches. But Patches lost his voice, so don't mind him. He's been acting a little strange. You turn to Patches, and Patches looks you deep in the eyes, and he goes, My purpose is not here. <laughs> he opened his mouth and he goes My sole purpose is to rid this this realm of the demons that you deem puppies. <laughs> What say you, Adventure? <laughs> Would you join my noble cause? You know, I'll be real honest with you. Um, when people buy stuffed animals that are maybe cats, do you find the sense of it? Do you find that, like, appreciated? Because it's like, oh, they're, like, worshipping cats. <laughs> oh, I don't mind the worshipping of my image. He's just gonna pull a little stuffed cat out of her bag. I'm a cat person, I hate dogs. <laughs> you seem like a worthy subject. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing, but I like being worthy. The other cats are like, Patches! Stop <laughs> with the fraternizing! You're straight, you're freaking us out again! <laughs> This is great. <laughs> She's so confused. She's like, I think I've lost my damn mind. <laughs> <Look at this. laughs> oh god. Well, I will keep you in mind, Patches. Anytime I see a dog, I'll hiss at it. I like hissing. Of course. <laughs> well, if if you are deeming yourself to be worthy of my cause, then I will help you as well. Yeah, of course. We've explored some of these tunnels. I, Patches, traveled up the spire through <laughs> the labyrinth. <laughs> and I discovered a separate enchantment. There seems to be a, a tunnel. Not guided by the echoes of the past, but guided by the light of flame and hope. Light a candle, and it will show your way down that tunnel. Light a candle? I think I actually have candles. Hold on. Light a candle, and it'll show your way down those tunnels. Does it... That is Oh, so you light the candle and it leads you to the spire. And it leads you out of the spire as well. Gotcha. Right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I'll keep that in mind. I forgot a friend who's got some candles. Is there anything else any of you can tell me? Is it like a waste of my time to keep walking through here? Trying to find something? You may reach the end of the Kingdom of Stone within the next three hours. Alright, and turn back around. I bid you farewell, adventurer. <laughs> Thank you for your help, Patches, and... What do you say, Gurin? Gorin? I'm Gorin! Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Patches. Thank you, Gorin. Patches, I like your voice. Don't listen to them. I think oh I have some sort of mental problem. I will see. <laughs> 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 um, do you want a me disability, to? Disability, if you will. I think I do. have a disability. <laughs> I may be different than my brethren. 
I mean, it's pretty cool, right? Nothing wrong with being different. I'm quite different from the people I grew up around. Thank you, loyal subject. I will take yeah. your advice and encouragement to heart. Of course, Patches. Now, <laughs> thank you all. I'm sure I'll see you again whilst going through these tunnels later with my friends. Stay safe. Well, <laughs> and watch for the one that calls himself the King of Stone. Oh, the big boy? The big bird? He will steal everything that's precious to you. Is there any way to prevent that? Do you have any knowledge? Guard your mind with something... something dark. Hmm. I can do that. <sighs> Alright. Thank you. Again. She's gonna start. <sighs> She's gonna walk back. Alright. You walk back and you leave the group of exploring Palico. Yep, she's walking, following the same pathway back, because she's like, there's no point in sure, Currently, sure. she doesn't you have the time. <laughs> you reach back to the top of the well, you peek out. That triceratops seems to be tending to something else, uh, maybe 60, 70 feet away. Mm -hmm. uh, for the rest of the party, it's been like an hour. Oh my god. Should you oh be my... concerned? Does that count as a short rest, by the way? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Good for you guys. <laughs> I like make your friends dead. Yeah, I, I have like to say the same. Not dead. She's just doing her work. Doing her work. In case he's like patting his like foot down really fast and looking, he's starting to sweat a little. Oh, okay. For it's those good. of you with dark vision, you could see her where she was, but once she stealthed, you were like, "Oh fuck, where'd she go?" <laughs> uh, so uh, just, just give Judas some goes over, sits next to Casey. <laughs> I don't hear her voice yet, so I think she's going to be fine. Yeah, uh, I trust her. See, I took it literally for a second, and I was like, of course you're not going to hear her, she's not here. But, uh, sorry, I'm just a little nervous. Um, it'll be okay. I trust her. Once I look. Damn it, no, no, they're way more than 120 feet away. Yep. Um, how can you I get their arrow. attention? I do have an arrow, but can I? How does one stealthily shoot an arrow? It wouldn't Just be do, too noticeable if there's an arrow shot not with flame or not with light or anything. It's just pew. It's an arrow that's like 80 feet away, and you're you're yeah. paying attention <laughs> to something else. It doesn't make any noise. That's true. And her arrows are pink. We've talked about this. <laughs> they have mm. pink on them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Even so, even so. But Still I would say make, make a stealth check. Ooh, I liked that 30 I had. <laughs> Boy. Um, that was an hour ago. That's true. <laughs> an 18. 18. That is good enough, as the dinosaurs are very preoccupied. So you stealthily loose an arrow up through the top of the, uh, of the pit. And it's not like a difficult shot to make. You're just shooting it over. Uh... For the rest of the party, uh, it's been an hour. What have you been doing? <laughs> waiting. <laughs> waiting. All right. Yeah, I yeah, I guess we have no other choice but to wait. Don't know well, what else we with your passive perceptions, and... it wouldn't be too difficult to notice an arrow suddenly stink <sighs> about 15 feet away from where you're all, uh, from where you're all waiting. This tits one of us. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Hits Casey right in the peg. Yeah. <laughs> it's a pink just, arrow. It's just, just healed. <laughs> Alright. So Judas is do we just see, been sitting do we on see the her rock. Mm hmm. Alright, what, what are you doing with this? Are you saying calm down? Is she saying calm down? I don't trust all of your stealth rolls. Um, deck. Well, Mass, they won't be a stealth throw once we get until we like start to move around down there, right? It's like she she jumped, and then when she tried to move around, yeah, yeah, basically. So, so we could all get down there pretty okay. Yeah, she'll motion. I would all, like, say, 
I would say... No, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to give you too much. Well, why not? <laughs> <laughs> why not? We just want to bring us the story, dude. <laughs> okay. Um. Are we here? What, what, are, what are you doing, Wisp? It's all based on you have all the information. We know nothing. <laughs> She's going to, again, reconnaissance hand motion. Uh, Person. Jump down. <laughs> all right. <laughs> just okay, like little well. little legs, and then just <laughs> sort of thing. Yep. Stay exactly. Down. Well, she's all right, and we're all pretty stout. Um, I say right. I probably want to go last just in case I make some noise. So we're all down there reporting. Can it somebody hold Anton? <laughs> she looks down at the raptor. <laughs> uh, I think he's best with you in your bag. Okay. I just don't want to not rattle him. I'm just gonna... Okay. So, do we all just gonna go down? So, we're all going so down. you all go down. Each of you will take 76. Halved. Nice. So that's 15 <laughs> damage for each of you. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Is there any way I could catch anyone if I was the first one down? Or is it just a sliding down? It's a slide. It is... Mm -hmm. It's it's a slide, but it's a rock slide, and it's a 50-foot uh... drop. <laughs> and not just 50 feet. You're you're dropping 50 feet, and that's where the stalagmite starts, and then it's slowly going... But it's still rock and bumpy. You're half sliding, half rolling down this sharp incline <laughs> i just imagine all of us just like rolling like hitting every rock on the way <laughs> down <laughs> don't, don't, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> all right so each of you takes 15 points of bludgeoning damage but yep. you're now all at the bottom i'm gonna prance my happy little ass over to him still oh. <laughs> yeah, that's bad sorry for the wipe Okay, you're not dead. Cassie, no, he was worried about you, and I'll point at Casey. Uh, I had faith in the entire time. I just got a little nervous. I'll give he him a little. He's very worried. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I thought he was gonna jump down, straight down. Honestly. Uh, no, you wouldn't have found me. Uh, I wouldn't have found her, but I wasn't waiting for thirty minutes. So, so well. Uh, um, so as you all brush yourselves off and look across the pit it is currently about uh 12 p.m in the world of olean and or at least in the area that you're in right now the sun is high in the sky it's nice and cool in the pit and as you watch that centaur seems to be being led back to the uh back to the Finston area with the rest of her teammates. So here are our options. <laughs> we let her get let off and then we get up there and I can try and unlock some gates. I, I guess. Uh, we cause some chaos. As a distraction, Vivian, relax. I can hear it. Relax. I can hear your blood boiling. <laughs> Or somebody else comes up with a better idea, because I'm a little jostled right now. I just met a cat named Patches, who sounded like the manliest man I've ever heard in my life, and now I'm his <laughs> disciple. Oh, uh, <laughs> I'm going to like, check her head for a fever. Mm, I'm freezing cold, I'm an ice tiefling. <laughs> uh, are you okay, Wisp? What, 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 what actually took you so long? I went down the well. I'm gonna dry. I'm gonna dry her off. And just, I can use shape water, so I'm just like water is gone. <laughs> Judas walks up, does the little press the digitation to help dry the the water with Casey. <laughs> There's no water. There's no. no? Water. Oh, well. It's a it's a dried well. Oh, it's a dried well. Sorry, okay. I thought you said there was water. My bad. All right. No, 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 no. There's no water. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I so you wanted. Mm -hmm. What was it? Cat, cat, lots, cats. Cats. Lots of pathways. Um, it was a lot. It was a lot. Did they have um, whiskers? Of course they had whiskers. Can 
Okay, how do you ever seen a cat before? Of course they would have whiskers. Well, I never met a cat that talks. I don't think they have. No, yeah, they all spoke. But it's not the point. Were they on all four <laughs> legs? Oh. Oh, yeah, did they have claws? Like, yeah, it's oh, sorry. not Ooh. the point. We're trying to save people. But I like your idea. The, the, the causing chaos yes. one. I know you like the chaos idea. Yeah. It's a and idea. if if that's what we go with, you are going to be in charge. <gasps> I, I think never... we should be saving as many people as possible. Well, that would if we cause a distraction, yeah. We yeah. can let a lot of people go. Yeah, a lot of people can leave at the same time. Especially since, I mean, there's only so many, like, uh, big dinosaurs, right? If anything, if also, everything's chaotic, we can just take them out. Or yeah. just go with your people. Now, point of note. The cat I met that I became the disciple of. I guess. <laughs> he hates dogs. Doesn't matter. <gasps> he taught me something. A few were very important things. In the well that I went into, if we could all manage to get in there, there's a passageway that leads directly into the spire. Um, Do you and mean that the... The, uh, the kings? Where he... Yes. Exactly. I also learned from Patches, Sir Patches, if I'm going to give him respect. <laughs> he was talking about what you mentioned about the king and taking people's minds, right? Yeah, Patches. Yeah, Patches said it's preventable if you block your mind with something dark. Like a hat? No, <laughs> something theoretically dark, a dark thought, something upsetting. Dad, evil, bad, dark. Like no hat. Like no hat. Imagine you didn't have a hat, Vivian. Oh, don't say that. And I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking because our little gobbo friend's a little crazy. That's why he can't take his mind because it's all muggy in there. He doesn't got no idea. We could put them on a hat. It's <laughs> it's all dark in there. No, Viv. I think she's saying to wear him as a hat. No, <laughs> no, don't don't wear the goblin as a hat or a mask. S no. So we need to think something dark. Something dark. Now here's what I'm secondarily thinking. We could save our friends, but that'll cause a ruckus here and be even more of an alert. However, if we went down, the spire took care of big guy, got Vivian her necklace. Taking care of big guy might make it easier to save everyone who's in here. Two birds, one stone. Exactly. Yeah, you wanna go for the much... head? Yeah. So that you the take rest off the, the head. body. Exactly. Body, body with exactly. If he's gone, who knows? If he dies and his magical connection is lost, maybe all these big lizard folk will just become real stupid. And then it all works out at the end. You can get everyone out. And exactly. Those people. We can save everyone instead of just the adventuring party. I like this plan. That's right. Listen, I'm, I'm aware that you, big man, just got a pat case on the back, like saving people. So I thought you'd like this one especially. I do. You know, we didn't make sure we keep it in the bargain with Viv. It's a lot easier. To, a lot easier to come save everyone after everything's over. Yeah, it'll make it much easier, and who knows, maybe once he's taken care of these dinosaurs, because they listen to direct orders, might not even want to be doing this. Especially if, say this is some weird situation where he takes these minds out of these people and puts them in the dinosaurs, maybe if we deal with him, they'll oh, be able to I, be their free will. I have never considered but that. But I'm thinking, because why are they so smart and speak? They've got to be the minds that he's stealing and implanting into these other people. But let's say that we do take care of him. That means right. maybe his magic unwinds. And exactly. they all end up not nearly as intelligent. Yeah. And then... I, like this. I think this is all for Gineru. Yeah, if they're less intelligent, they're not gonna just be like, Oh, look at these humans and these fences that we were tasked to watch, no. They're, they're animals. They might or... attack them, though. It's true. 
Secondarily. But, but if we try and save them first, there's no guarantee that we will not get all these people out. Exactly. We'll probably, probably die getting every because we keep that well. Is that that's a way out, right? That's what you said. Yeah, it's got a way directly into the spire, past oh. the spire, and another exit out of the kingdom. They saw for our previous fight, we're not going to fight our way up out of this pit. We're not going to be fast enough to get everyone into the into the well and out and make sure they don't get lost at the same time. Exactly. It's not going to happen. Plus, uh, Centaur Girl, uh, her name's... What's her name, Madison? I'm sorry, it's been a really long time. I have it written down somewhere, but I don't remember where I, where I wrote it down. Her, her name was Krista. Krista. Krista might not... She's not going to just fit in that well very easily. No. No. Even even if we could save them right now, we've got no way to get anybody out you other than that well. Good. Yeah, Viv, you could do, do things a little out of order. Huh? Go king first, come back yeah, later. I, I have no problem, it's whichever way. Yeah, and when we come back, Viv, chaos. Of course! Then Viv can smash. Yeah. I will smash and I will let help all your uh, friends. I promise I won't run off or anything. Uh, I trust you. <laughs> Don't worry about that. Not. I won't run off. You'll have, to, you'll, you'll have to answer to her. I'll just be disappointed in you. <laughs> no, I promise I won't run off. <laughs> but, uh, I, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm gonna you, you put, guys put a hand on PC. Hmm? I just want to ask if you guys want to rest today and then come back. I know all of us kind of extended some stuff. We can make that decision got, soon, later rather than sooner. We've got no way to rest down here, Casey. We can't get out. Can we rest in the well, tunnels? Well, you did say if we just go in the tunnels and rest down there, then go to the spire later. Like I said, it's something we talk about, talk about later, not now. Yeah, all right. I'm going to pat Casey, give him the blessing. All right, time to sneak to the well, boys. Do your best. Casey, you feel inspired to continue this story as Judas's earrings dully glow. Alrighty. <clears throat> so, everyone go ahead and make stealth checks. 30 would have been nice. Ayo, 17. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay. You'd be and a little The one little that really matters, Casey. Tunnel snakes! I'm casting an answer ability, I have double advantage. <laughs> That's why it's advantage, right? I cancelled it and I took it again. Correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's advantage. It's advantage. So... Come on, don't suck! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! I'm at least, so... Yeah. That's like eight. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dude, I've done that so many spells went into that. Ugh. Okay, so, yeah. guidance, you had well, a Maddie, blessing and you had like a group ability. check. This is individually, can you individually uh, stealth to uh, the well? Uh, so, that's just that's so nearly bad. everyone stealths and then makes it the about 50 feet from the stalagmite to the well in two rounds. And then, Casey, I assume that you were going last because that's what you've been doing. Yeah, I've fallen behind. Casey, as you attempt to uh, climb down from this uh, slightly elevated area with a stalagmite down to more deeper into the pit, uh, some hay seems to be blocking what feels like a rock, but looking down, uh, you can see a bleached skull peeking out from dead grass it startles you for a moment and you trip over it you fall and drop not only uh, not only your backpack but your armor clanks against the stones below and then... the rest of you kind of like wince look back Casey is sprawled out on the ground behind you and you look to your front end about 60 feet away from uh from you about 45 no about 60 feet away from the well i uh, the triceratops that was tending to the livestock lifts its head and that's where we're going to end the session god dang it man oh, <laughs> dude this dex thing is so terrible man stealth is so hard you can just been like crap Dude, this is this is bad roll. It's a negative one, but that's through a four, a three, and a five. 
Man. That just Ooh. feels bad, dude. Can I ask you, Madison, what's the difference between like a group stealth check and individuals? I, I don't understand. So, a group stealth check usually is over a long distance. Okay. And it goes for quite a long time, usually. Okay. However, to make it across like like uh, one person, mm -hmm. then each of you is going to be stealthed in, like, individually. Individually? Okay. Think of it more it. of like a individual instance versus uh, an average of uh, of a longer period of time. Uh, yeah. Okay, that just sucks. It's alright. So yeah, that's where we're going to pick it up next session as uh, the, uh, the the Triceratops is going to basically get one round ch to charge you and call out to its uh, to its partner that there are Wait, somehow it's gonna get, it's gonna get the round. Yeah. Well, I mean, like I mean, you guys are gonna get. We were initiative. the ones. Yeah, we were the ones stealth, and we weren't surprised. We knew he was there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is that like like you, there's going to be a round where it's going to. Yeah, there will be a round of initiative. Yeah. Okay. I thought he was about to get a surprise round, and I'm like, hold on now. <laughs> we knew he was there. <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that I don't was want to really get gored session. first turn. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 well. All the night. Yes. 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 We have Curse of Strahd at 9.30 tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Actually, Sunday. to make up for this past Wait, Sunday, Sunday, we'll... it's, it's, it's Sunday. Oh, Sunday, Everybody, Sunday. Tomorrow, yes. Saturday, is Sunday. Sunday, 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 Sunday. It's Sunday. it's 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 Saturday for us already. He just wait, he wait. Was... You guys are moving Strahd. <laughs> You're moving Strahd to uh, Sunday. Yeah. Sunday. Yeah. This for this well, I can't week. Join we'll, you guys we'll then. Give more descriptions oh. later. We will oh. discuss this after stream. But yeah, we will discuss yeah. this more after stream. Okay, guys. Good night. Thank you all for watching. Big, big thanks to Red Hook Entertainment and oh. the folks there that gave us oh. the music. Uh, big thanks to all of you guys for watching, and I'm hoping to see you guys next time as the party infiltrates Gord's Spire. Nice. Bye. Bye.